Hey, what's going on, everyone? We have a brand new members video and a podcast coming out today. Once again, only for members. Also, be sure to check out the new episode of The Hook Show. Now on with the clip. So Technicals just uploaded his Zero video. And first of all, I just want to say I agreed with a lot of the points, especially at the beginning of the video. However, some of the points towards, I would say, like the middle, around like the 15 minute mark and stuff like that, I wasn't quite feeling. And if you see my Twitter feed, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But basically the way I think we're gonna like do this is I think we're, we're gonna watch the video, right? From start to finish. Yeah, I might yeah. like zone out though, cause I already I feel like watched that just, it, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like that makes the most sense. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people who don't even know what's going on with uh, Zero. I had an initial paragraph about the stuff against Zero. Then I rewrote it entirely when new information came out. And now I've deleted that entirely when even more information came out. And I am replacing it with, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. In absolutely devastating and shocking news, Zero has come out with a brand new statement confirming everything is true. Many members of the Smash community have been accused of harassment and assault. Most notably, Gonzalo Zero Barrios, known as one of the most successful Smash players of all time. Sadly, Zero attempted suicide today. G2 has continued to post her own additional allegations against Zero as well and seemingly will not let this go to rest until I'm not sure what is done here. I do think that there is some kind of need to um, do very thorough research before you name specific people and specific events, especially if you're in there or both sides of the store have not been brought up yet. Worst case scenario is what happens here. This is literally the worst case scenario is when somebody tries to kill themselves. Again, I know this is what not why we're here, but like uh, apparently technicals edited quite a bit of that himself. I thought the whole yeah. segment was made by John Swan. I'm being told <laughs> that like no. uh, just the end card was the tech learned uh, After Effects for this, which is really cool. Yeah, I was that's literally more than I've, uh, I've ever done. Just about to say the same thing. The intro is great. It was really good. Yeah, imagine all mm -hmm. the Easter eggs he put into the newspapers. Maybe they say like outrageous Dude. stuff, like. I know when I do that, I did the <laughs> same like shit. shit. I had to change some because I put Easter eggs about people that I'm not talking to, and I had to remove them from the video I haven't released yet um, <laughs> because I've been working on it for so long. You can put so much in those little newspaper shits. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ethan Ralph shat himself, breaking news or something. Like I that. think I had like one that was like Smaggle Daggle is fucking Connor's, like uh, Augie's roommate Connor. And I <laughs> oh my god, it. Yeah. that's great. Wait, you removed it? What the fuck? Uh, I don't know. Today officially marks the beginning and end of an era in Smash history. In the past year, we've seen a growth in distrust of leadership, entire cases turned upside down, and a one silent and the rise majority no of longer fascism. afraid to question. Oh, wait, it's not happening. <laughs> in the status quo. I mean, it's why should they? The loudest Smash. ones are the reason both you and I are here in the first place. But as I said before, that ends today. Because today I'll show you how two of the biggest cases in Smash history have never been solved. Until now. Gonzalo Raul Zero Barrios Castro. Right, we're gonna get into that later on. Case closed. Executive tournament win streak back in his prime received attention from mainstream news publications for something a lot less awe-inspiring. It appears that much like D1, he incurred the wrath of his detractors by making an initial statement on those that were accused prior to himself. Jisoo's tweet would reignite old stories and even spark new ones as they tried to add their voices to the conversation. As we all know, this resulted in her creating a 64-page, <coughs> sorry, 58-page document that was used as the primary reference in both conversation and media coverage. However, even after- Guys, for those who don't know, Jisoo's the one from the Sky video. I, I, I don't know how much you guys know or don't know. Jisoo's the crazy nut job who went after Sky. Yeah. Digging. We've only been over half of what's been said about Zero. If you're new here, don't worry, because I'm about to recap everything we already know about the Zero case. From 2009 to 2010, Craigslist was caught in a legal battle over their adult services category, which functioned as a message board for sex workers and online dating. 
Because of this and raising concerns over sex trafficking, Craigslist began pre-screening ads posted in the adults category to prohibit the publication of graphic images. With that being said, it seems unreasonable to assume that Jisoo's claim of having been shown multiple ads in 2014, which shouldn't have existed in the first place- Do you want me to just tell them okay. what he's talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was okay. about to do that. So here's the first part, right? Uh, a lot of the earlier points in the video we're probably going to agree with because when I first watched the video, like I agreed with all these points. A lot of them were really dumb. So basically what he's talking about here is apparently Craigslist used to have uh, a shitload of porn on the site, which is something that confused me because porn, I thought- prostitution, yeah, yeah like they would have yeah. like the back pages or whatever where a lot of this would happen. This is probably before your fucking time of even using Craigslist. Yeah, I'm guessing- But it was extremely like, common back Around then. 2010 or so, or probably was the latest- uh, when did yeah. Craigslist stop? When did Craigslist ban porn? Because they're technically it was, yeah. The it, for the for this situation in particular, allegedly um, Zero was showing like pornography on like a big screen in the house. I don't know if it was like a, a projector or like a big TV. Okay, but apparently he showed porn of like um, fucking yeah. like Cra Craigslist ads and shit like that. It was on there, and uh, Jisoo was complaining about that, but. Uh, so I understand an, it was banned by the time yeah, that this yeah. could even have happened. So I have an article here from September 15th, 20, 2010 from the New York Times saying Craigslist discontinued its adult service section on September 3rd, 2010. So which would have been way before Jisoo was 15. Simultaneously, so. Jisoo was never 15 in the Sky House. Yeah. Jisoo was 16 when she got there. So this couldn't possibly have happened if her timeline is correct. Right. Yeah. True beyond a reasonable doubt. Coupled with the fact that she acquired zero testimony in a house filled with 20 plus people who would have likely seen this happening considering it was shown on a big screen television in a shared room of five. Coincidentally, everyone that television, I reached out right, to for it. comment, like Orion and some of her past roommates, deny any knowledge of this taking place during their stay. Also, for accuracy's sake, she wasn't 15. She was 16 ever since she arrived at Sky's house, which would have made zero 19 at the time. Right, so even if, like, even giving, like, full charitability, which never happened, right? Let's say you showed a fucking 16-year-old, like, porn or something when he was 19, right? Like, is that a little bit weird? I don't fucking know. But, like, again, this doesn't matter because it well, never... Well, do we even know if he intentionally showed porn to a 19-year-old? Yeah, exactly. What was the context Like, was it just an this? instance where... I mean, a uh, nice 19, 16-year-old. Uh, like, I mean, if he put it on the screen for everyone to see, was the intention to show it to Jisoo? Was Jisoo walking in the room? Was Jisoo in there the whole time? Did he realize Jisoo was in there the whole time? Like, right. I don't know, dude. It's Dude, there's been plenty of times where we've been talking on stream about, like, allegations of sexual assault and stuff like that, and then you just forget that, like, Aiden Projects is in the call. Right. Uh, there's exactly. no obvious malicious intent to explain these allegations to Aiden, but for some reason, idiots in this community continue to platform him and put him on podcasts. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I, we're, we're asking to get fucking. Um, right. Somebody for, could say, like, yeah. oh, well, you aired, you know, conversation wasn't appropriate for Aiden to be there because Aiden's a 16 year old boy or something. It's like, that, that's basically Which, the. 100%. I wish we could kick him out of the community. Ah, um, is that bad? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we agree with that point. Let's move on. <laughs> and try with Japanese players. Let's fucking go. Apex. A day after Jisoo posted her allegation, Leffen, purely out of the goodness of his own heart, posted an entirely fabricated story to make Jisoo's look more credible but it's okay because he did it as his friend. In this story, he accuses Zero of looking at hentai with Japanese players he had just met at Apex when he was a minor, when in actuality, they were looking at fully clothed waifus. Hmm. I'm not going to reveal the identity of the Japanese player who corroborated Zero's story simply because he wishes to remain anonymous, but if Leffen would like to have even one person involved back him up, he's more well, than welcome Japanese, to do right? so. But he's not- Yeah, we'll go with that. Did you talk to- I'm sorry. This is stupid. This is a stupid I'm argument. I'm going to because no one agrees with him. Well, maybe except for Lima, who wasn't even there. The fact that Leffen confirmed you look at hentai with people you barely know completely contradicts what you said about this being out of character for you to do. Imagine typing this out with 100% sincerity. Aha! Checkmated Zero! You do look at anime pussy in public! See? Look everyone! Leffen proved it! 
Zero manipulated and blinded his audience very well into attacking this victim, who finally mustered the courage to share her story against the biggest name in Smash. Wait, Augie, you know what Zero. this reminds me of? Hmm. Did you tell that story of what happened at VidCon? There was a lot of shit that happened at VidCon. All right, I'm not going to say any names so nobody gets like outed in case this is private. Oh but my god. Augie was hanging out with somebody and he like he like looks down at their phone when they're standing next to him no, and he's like, "Oh, Tom. sorry, dude." He goes <laughs> He goes, "Oh, sorry, dude. This is my food of porn. What is food of porn?" And girls with dicks, apparently. <laughs> sorry, sorry, bro. This is this was my food of porn. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's all I can think of this whole oh, section. Oh my god, that's all I thought of too. <laughs> oh my god, Toy Technicals just exposed in the chat. <laughs> he just was like, "Why are y'all talking about my brother?" <laughs> It, oh, was a, it. it was a funny story. I was in You said it was Tom. <laughs> no. Well, I could have said it was Tom. Just fuck him over. I said, well, no, no but I'm it, saying, was we literally said it was Tom who saw it. Tom. They would have Tom believed saw it. it from Technical's brother. I wasn't there. Oh, I oh never, my God. I only we heard the story. Just... I... Yeah, good one, buddy. You suck so much ass. <laughs> I didn't know that we were going to fucking out his brother. <laughs> I didn't know either until you fucking tell the story. <laughs> I didn't think his, we didn't have to fucking. Uh, well, he okay. said it, so it's his fault. I was right? just gonna say it We're was not someone. Was... It was anonymous. <sighs> what goes at VidCon oh, does boy. not stay at VidCon, apparently, dude. I, that was not intentional. Yeah. You're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> what the Nick fuck did I do, dude? Oh Nick's God. leaking it again, dude. This guy's insane. Nick leaking again. <laughs> Jesus, what a bad friend he is. All right, keep it up. Stabbed and wounded this infant who finally found the courage to speak out after being shown what? a full length director's cut of Boku no Pico. Stunning, and quite frankly, brave. Whew. God forbid a woman be uncomfortable. I'm sure we can all agree that her. That's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> someone is bad, but there's a lot of those in this video. Word essay on an unsubstantiated claim that you have nothing to do with, I would argue, would make anyone uncomfortable because you clearly have way too much time on your hands. I guess you could use the attention since you're not getting it from ESPN. Okay, so our thoughts on the second allegation, right? He showed hentai to a bunch of kids in Japan or something, or not Japan, but he showed he showed hentai to a bunch of Japanese kids at Apex. What do we think of this? Wow, uh, wonderful. Kind of sus, kind of sus, kind of well, weird, okay, kind of random. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. So we don't have an opinion on this. Well, I just read tweets. I'm not supposed to have an opinion. Okay, well, yeah, I'm just asking. That's your job. All right, well, I was going to go into a spiel and say how I don't care. Even if the story was real, yeah, I don't really, really care that much. But I then don't... you guys just went completely quiet. All right, so I'm like, sorry, okay, well. I just, I don't really have any strong opinions on like the yeah, first okay, 10 minutes right. of this video. Like if this video was 10 minutes long, I wouldn't have any problems with it. Okay. All right, Miner sent on Discord. Three words that I love. Yeah, my favorite trio of words all put in together. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. Leffen still felt like he hadn't proved his friendship to Zero, so he shared yet another false story that accidentally damaged his reputation. Damn, Leffen really can't catch a break, huh? The goal of the Twitlonger was to show that Zero frequently exchanged hentai with his audience, which, much like the Apex story, would make Jisoo seem far more believable. The context Before of these screenshots- Before we keep going, shots, Augie, yeah. isn't it funny how, like, within three seconds of technicals explaining anything about Leffen, he immediately looks far worse than Hax was able to portray him across eight <laughs> hours of content? Like, I literally immediately understood why you don't like Leffen, the second that fucking technicals started talking. Wait, it wasn't like the pancakes that like set it no. up for you? Or the dark no, triad? No, it's just like Jigglypuff I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not even making fun of dark triad. I'm not even making fun. Dude, the problem with Hex's video is every clip he showed of Leffen made Leffen look good. It made no sense. It was like he picked the worst possible clips. He's like, dude, he clipped uh, Leffen when he was like, dude, we should wait till all sides of the story come out. Like, I'm like, what, what, this is like the most likable person. Why are you doing this? And then the, like, the second I actually see what uh, technicals like post, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I don't know. That Zero would have constant. Disputes. Oh, Tom already said it was Technical's brother. Thank God, Tom got. Okay, we're good. Nice. I didn't do it, guys. In his Discord, over who could join his mafia lobbies. So he half jokingly decided whoever sent him the best hentai would get a spot. 
One of the only times that Zero has sent hentai to his audience directly is when he made an animation for his stream that triggered after a large donation, which had a hidden NSFW ending. But viewers demanded to see the full version, so Zero decided if they tier 3 subbed and confirmed they were 18 or older, he would send them the full animation. However, one of Zero's mods who did receive it after asking him, went on Twitter and framed it as if Zero was wholly irresponsible with ages. Even though his trusted moderator, the one person whose age he didn't check, was a legal adult anyways. They have since there for this? I think I retweeted this. This is legit. This part's yeah. legit. Apologized for their tweets and confirmed that Zero did in fact check for ages. Don't ask why Leffen was trying this hard to prove Jisoo right. You're going to break the simulation. Fuck you, Technicals. You are roach of cock. By the way, it's also important to note that, like, the, uh, him sending, like, that fucking, uh, hentai clip or something, it's not inherent. He's not doing it for, like, sexual gratification from the people that he's sending it to. He's not being yeah, there's like, there's levels to this kind of thing. You, you like this? You know, he's not, he's not doing that. People are just yeah, there's asking. Be, there's like being a weird weeb and posting like fucking hentai in a group chat, which is I would say comparable to being like an idiot teenager who posts a picture of like Peter Griffin's massive cock in your group. Oh, chat who would do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who would do that? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's just fuck? like I would say it's like that. Then there's like when you're actually like having some sort of a, like a, a public interaction, like I would say like an OnlyFans person who's like distributing their stuff to like people online, and then there's like the personal intimate like interaction of sexting somebody yeah like, there's exactly. like levels to like what this what what sexual yeah. it's stuff not is. like this he's a, going this around is a tier three like it, when onision yeah. asks me how is a naked picture not sexual it's when it's peter griffin's cock in your group chat okay, okay okay let me decipher what nick's saying here for a second all right zero is not going around to random fans dms and sexting with them and sending them like porn clips to like jerk off together that's not what's going on here so, for instance, me and, my, situation. me and my friends used to, well, <laughs> not in this one, me and, <laughs> me and my friend, like, for instance, like, like, me and my friends used to, like, send this fucking fake picture, like, Peter Griffin's fucking, with this, like, fucking cock out or whatever in group chats, like, trigger what people fuck? and fucking troll people and shit like that, all right? We're not doing that to, like, sexually arouse the fucking chat. No, we're just doing that to be assholes <laughs> and to troll people, right? It's a fucking meme. So that's that, that's more closer to the context that Zero is doing here than, you know, trying to elicit some sort of fucking... Yeah, exactly, Connor. Connor knows what we're talking about. <laughs> it was a good bit, all right? It was a pretty good bit. So there's th what I'm saying is that there's levels to... Just because, like, he's sending shit like that doesn't mean that he's doing it for, like, gratification. That's what we're saying. So we agree with this point, too. So, so far, three points in, we... We either agree or we don't really have strong opinions on the allegations and the response whatsoever. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's keep going. You're s f n scum of Smash, and you make alert dramas like Camstar. Ooh, ooh, go cry about it on Reddit again, pussy. Destroyed. All right. The big penis. <laughs> Zero, 20, Vanessa, 15, and physical abuse. Let's get into this. We're on allegation four now. In a one in a trillion odds, Jisoo managed to not only forget the very first line of her document, but also was unable to fit a five minute Google search of their ages into her already busy schedule. This resulted in hordes of followers demanding Vanessa's birth certificate after- So Vanessa is Zero's wife. The allegation uh, is that they yeah. got together uh, when she was 15 and he was 20. This is not true. She accused her of being 15 while dating wasn't Zero. That age. And yeah, when she spoke on this experience- Yeah, there, it's not even like some crazy way to like prove it. She just was not that age. It's just not true. Experience. She even goes as far as to say that it gave her post-traumatic stress disorder. But wait, there's more! In the same breath, Jisoo also insinuated that Zero beats women, citing rumors as her source. <laughs> the magnitude of this fuck-up is actually so impressive, I think we should just let it slide. I mean, she clearly can't help it at this point. And right, so allegations of wife beating, no source, so I don't care. An educator, I take punching down on source, learning disabilities. You trust me. Very yeah, literally. Seriously. The source is Recap dude, over. It's a rumor, bro. It's a rumor. <laughs> wow. Get fucked. Omega lol. Omega lol. Dude, that's my Congratulations. Lol. All right. <laughs> You're officially caught up. Now it's time to introduce the final three stories we've yet to address. And hopefully by the end we can reach a verdict. Spoiler alert, mm -hmm. Jisoo's involved in all of them. How fun. <laughs> Alright, flying a minor out to the hotel. Allegation number five. 
What I didn't expect was another victim to speak up about Zero having asked her to do the same things while she was underage, and talk about possibly flying over and meeting her at a hotel in person. This other victim that Jisoo is referring to is Laura. In the screenshots that follow her explanation, Laura details how Zero was likely gaslighting her into believing that she had lied about her age, saying, quote, I would have never in my life said I was 20. Like, this is 100% damage control. There's no way he didn't know I was underage. And I had text logs last year when I tried contacting him on Discord and was really thinking of posting it online back then, but no one would have believed me, and I just gave up on it, I guess. But I've reset my PC since then, so the Skype chat logs are gone. Unquote. Damn, you reset your PC so you lost the screenshots, huh? That's unfortunate. The issue isn't that she doesn't have the conversations, it's that they don't support her case in the slightest. The Skype messages still exist, but that's not the point. And he thought I was older. He did nothing wrong. I wouldn't share those Skype messages with anyone though, at least not things that make him look bad, unless I trust that person to not share it with anyone. I'd never want to damage Zero's reputation. Okay, so this lore person is an unreliable narrator. Those messages yeah, that, that he just played contradict what she said like before she said. in the allegation. Yeah. So we can throw this one out too. Got him. He didn't even know I was a minor. I'm not a bad person. I'm really sorry. Well, it doesn't get any more obvious than that, does it? I'm in genuine shock I get paid to do this. This puts our current lie tally from Jisoo at a solid 3.5. Vanessa being 15, Zero beating women, flying out a minor, and half a point for the hentai and Craigslist story. Because while it's extremely unlikely, it can't be disproven either. But truthfully, who gives a shit? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're, we're drifting, ah. we're getting closer to territory that I have a problem with. I don't know if this is the point yet. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Are we it's actually exploiting women. Of the video? Huh? Are we in the whole second half of the video? I don't know yet. Well, this is probably the part then. All right, allegation six. So, so far we're five through and we pretty much agree with technicals on everything you said so far, correct? Yeah. Again, okay. if you ended after the first 10 minutes, it would be a banger video. All right, let's keep going. I debated adding this part because it honestly feels like a waste of time, so if you want to skip it, just know that it boils down to an anti-situation. The first woman, who is now 27 years old, is upset because she feels as if Zero tried to use her to add to his collection by asking her for nudes. She paints a picture that Zero to talked my to women as if they were achievements, <laughs> while boasting his easily obtained Infinity Gauntlet of pictures. Keep in mind that there is no evidence to literally anything I'm saying right now. Which is oh wait, I actually remember this point, I think we agreed with the technicals yeah. on this too. Because it's basically, another fine addition to my collection. Basically, they were complaining that Zero only uses women for sex and is kind of a mean. mean General Kenobi. He's a meanie person to women or something, which I just, again, I just. <laughs> okay. Why I wanted to skip it in the first place, but since Jisoo thought it was important enough to document, I don't really have a choice now, do I? She feels as if Zero was her friend, yet blocked and cut her off when he started going yeah. stuff. I will never understand why in allegations of like pedophilia or something, we also have like, well, he's kind of mean to women. Oh, like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. He's also a bit of an it. asshole. <laughs> Did you ever hear him say slang puss? I think that means he would fuck. Oh, thank yeah, God yeah, I caught yeah. off by my donation, dude. Thanks, Zach Two Pet. I appreciate your prime. <laughs> okay, buddy. Nessa. According to Zero, he was never really close friends with her in the first place, and he was already cutting off people from his hometown because he never planned on going back. There is testimony from others that witnessed them hanging out and her general attitude of Zero, even though she stated that she had a boyfriend and that was one of the things she was upset about. Uh, but then that devolves into a he said, she said, and I don't have time for that shit. The rest of her twit longer appears to contribute a decent amount of her self-esteem issues to Zero, which I don't think is very fair considering their minimal amount of interactions. I'm not gonna lie, it honestly reads as projection. The big takeaway here is that Zero now has a confirmed history of sexually exploiting women. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jisoo must have seen something I didn't because that is a loaded statement. You confirmed it? How'd you confirm that one? Oh, you listened to a couple stories? Here, take it. Just take it. No, seriously, you deserve it. Please, just take it. 
Another person also came to me recently to also validate that Zero regularly exhibited these behaviors while she was not underage at the time. A little odd that four of these cases involve fully grown women when we're trying to prove he's a pedophile, but okay. When it was clear that she only wanted to maintain a friendly relationship and not sexual, Zero stopped talking to her. This was when I first spoke to him in Smashboard's PMs, October 2014. So yes, same exact time period as Katie. Guys, a woman was ghosted. Out of curiosity, if you're like reaching out because you want to like be more than just like a friend than to somebody, because obviously not everybody you like become cool with, you're looking to like just be friends with, right? Mm -hmm. And you realize that person's not interested, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. think, okay, well, all right, are you like legally bound to be that person's friend now? No. Like, are some people no. not like just allowed to want to? I don't know, date somebody. And then not interested in just remaining friends with them afterward. I don't. It's fucking foreign concept. I think Foreign that's concept, fine. dude. Foreign concept. I don't know. He just wanted he her for the pussy. I don't know, dude. Whatever. 2015. Right. Call the police. Oh my god. Who fucking cares? Look, I know it seems like I'm being insensitive, but both this and the woman I just spoke of isn't even a relevant issue anymore. This happened when? Six, seven years ago? He's been with Vanessa for five, and they're now married. You're bringing this up, why? Oh, yeah, promiscuous behavior. Promiscuous. Having or involving many sexual partners. As is characteristic of most men. And again, we were talking about this He privately. ghosted someone in 2014. Very <laughs> promiscuous. Yeah, yeah. Promiscuous. Let's say Zero mm. was promiscuous. Could you imagine in an allegation, let's say against like a woman, if they had mentioned, well, the woman's very promiscuous. She has an OnlyFans and blah blah yeah, blah. What a whore! She's on OnlyFans all the time. That <laughs> person, the person who would say that, would get fucking like just destroyed. They would absolutely like fucking <laughs> exactly like, demolished, dude. So There's it's no, irrelevant no whether or not Zero is promiscuous. I don't even think that matters in any case whatsoever. I don't even know why this is being brought up. You know, so but. I heard by someone on the Zerka stream that uh, Ew. ghosting someone is abuse. It's I like some girl. So is, I know. You, know what, you know what's abuse? Going on the Zerka stream. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> eh, I had a good time there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you. off, Bubble Axe. Thank you, Augie. <laughs> We all know that Zero was drowning in a substantial amount of pussy. Most times, you couldn't tell oh, if there true. was a banana in his pocket or if he was just happy to play Diddy. Someone it's... should really tell Nelly Furtado over here the difference between flirting online and getting your own reality TV show for being Mormon. Promiscuous girl, I own a car. Wherever you are, bitch better not be far. Nice. Yeah. All right. Hey. So six points to technical so far. Now let's talk about Katie. Ding. This, in my opinion, is probably the only serious and legitimate problem that people have with Zero. Everything else is either fabricated, as we've seen, or extremely, and I mean extremely, over-exaggerated. Which is honestly a testament to just how clean Zero's record is if they have to lie this much. Katie reached out to Jisoo after her initial tweet and began recounting her experience with Zero in 2014. After sending several screenshots of their Skype conversations, the two quickly exchanged numbers and began planning out the twit longer. At the time of the messages, Zero was 19 and Katie was allegedly 14. I only say allegedly because there's no way I can confirm her age on account of her being anonymous. I genuinely tried to get in contact with her, but every lead either had me blocked or refused to say anything. So, can't say I didn't try. Dear Zero, my name is Katie. I used to be in the Smash community. I was 14 years old during our conversations on Skype from September 2014 to January 2015. We met online when you were streaming on Twitch and I messaged you over chat. You seemed to take an interest in me and gave me your Skype username. I, Starstruck, made a Skype just for this and began- By the way, this is the reason why Zero was banned from Twitch and still is banned from Twitch. And chatting with you. I was a young girl enraptured with the idea of being friends with someone I looked up to and admired. You used me in this state to flirt, manipulate, and ask for sexual favors from me. The worst offense, she claimed, was that he asked her to masturbate with ice and take pictures. Sadly, according to Katie, uh, there is no evidence. All right. Okay. All right, dude. Yeah. All right. 
right. That's not very good. Okay. So the allegation is that he alleged, I mean, that's nudes, obviously. Specifically masturbation with ice and to take pictures. Evidence. This is the part where you... Uh, what else do they say? Hold on. I need to go back because I missed what else was said there. Uh, Just an allegation. That's not. I, yeah, I, I agree with I, you, Zach. Four two pet. That is not very pog champ. <laughs> Shut um, the fuck up. I, I didn't pictures. see that as extremely poggers myself. Sadly, according to Katie, there is no evidence. This is the part where you angrily type in the comments. But technicals, he confessed. You don't he need what? evidence. You victim uh, blaming uh, piece of. Uh, Wait, I'm, I'm fuck. Oh, holy shit. Wait, I'm, go, I'm going on a little bit of a trip right now. Uh, wait, don't worry. Wait. Twitter says we have to watch the video. It'll explain everything. Just keep all right, going. All right. uh, yeah. Wow, just learn a new phrase. Nice. Very good. Very good. Calm the fuck down. We're going to read it Why right is, now. Yeah, it's Jesus. a good one, Augie's chat. Why is a 14 year old using Skype anyway? Yeah, it's her fault. Good one, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if, as if none, of you, start from none chat, of you fucking I, morons Patrick in McDuff. chat never used Skype when you were 14. Dude, I had a Skype <laughs> yeah, when I was 12. Dude. Fuck off, chat. <laughs> Good one, chatters. I used Skype when I was 14. Yeah. Everybody did. Every kid was on Skype. Dude, hey, my chat's I going like, yo, poggers. Your chat's like, yeah, I don't know. That girl deserved it. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. If this was just an allegation, that would be one thing. This right here is my problem. This right here. This screenshot, what you guys are looking at right here, this is my problem. I'll let it play out. I can't sleep, and I just can't take this back and forth. I don't think it makes sense to keep this going. I just want this all to stop and for me to at least atone. I also want people to stop defending me. I don't deserve it. Katie, the screenshot you guys were wondering about the ice cube thing, it's true. The claims that Katie makes are true in general. There are no graphic pictures or anything of the sort, but it's unforgivable regardless. If you're an observant- Alright. So we have the allegation. We have a document where he admits to it, says it's true, says he's not worthy of a defense. Now let's hear what the response from One that question, is. One question though. So like, just to be clear, he says in that response, there are no graphic pictures. But, and then she, he also says everything she's saying is true. So do the pictures just no longer exist? Do they never exist? Were they deleted? Like, this is something that I still... T I have no idea. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Chad, don't worry. We'll pull technicals in, but we I gotta get through my... We're gonna here. watch the video. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Everyone keeps saying ad tech. We gotta get through our point first. We haven't spoken yet. That's the... <laughs> it's <laughs> not happening. Like, yeah. add technicals before you give an opinion. That's a negative. Right. Yeah, fuck, dude. She just said he asked for them. So she I guess. Just said he asked for them. Okay, yeah. so I so I guess there are no pictures. So what I guess what the story is is that he asked for pictures, but they were not given to him. Okay. Okay. But he asked for them. If you're an observant reader, you may have noticed the stark contrast of tone from his previous responses. That's because Zero wholeheartedly intended for this to be his suicide note. And had it not been Fuck, for Vanessa, so that may have well been the oh case. So you, you, when we watched this the first note. time, you, when we watched this the first time, I literally paused it and I go, I swear to God, if this transitions into suicide, can you attest to that actually happening? It did. Well, I just, yeah, once you heard the word tone. I heard, like, you could tell the yeah. tone is, you could understand the tone is off. You should have known that he wasn't being truthful. Did you know that Jupiter was in retrograde? Like, come on, dude. You could tell the way his heart was beating that, his, that he wasn't in it. <laughs> like, I'm just, oh, come on, bro. Come on. Technical <laughs> says we have the facts of the story wrong. We don't know where we're talking about. He wants in right now. Okay. Well, I don't know. You could do whatever you want with that. I mean, this was my ma this is my biggest issue with the video. So, I mean, there's more to it, and I'm sure we'll watch more of it. We're gonna read all the messages; they all pop up on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll I mean, read them. Is, we're gonna get into it. it. Mm. Wait, are the facts of the story not in your video? Because we're gonna go through everything. But maybe it would be better to argue the point he on call one by one instead of instead of 
watching it all and then having like an hour long right, discussion let's just, that let's like just, yeah. darts back and forth. So wait, why did he? Why did he say it was okay to all come right. in after the here's fact? The deal. Here's if he the deal. We were going to be critical of the here's video. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm going to add him, and I'm I'm going to do this because I'm not doing this stream to paint technicals as a bad guy. I'm just explaining why I have a problem with the video, right? So yeah. I say let's hear it. What's up, dude? All right, I was behind on that. Nick, you're a fucking dumbass. I swear to God. I think you're a dumbass. Why are you leveraging so much on this fucking story? What do you mean, assuming that he was going to commit suicide? He literally attempted it in March, like three months later. I'm not saying he didn't attempt to commit suicide. I'm saying you just outlined a huge fucking allegation. And then you transition to, well, the reason why that he said that he did it is because he was going to fucking kill himself. And then the next segment of this video is you, like, having a really fucking like serious encounter talking about how he was suicidal why didn't you finish talking about the allegation before you jumped into he was suicidal i'm gonna why didn't we get finish it after that what do you mean you watched it the feels whole thing, like didn't you? yeah it feels like a weird emotional blackmail right off the beginning it's staged in such a way that feels really fucking awkward right, well, dude. you're allowed to believe that play the video all right you in the screen share mm-hmm all right If it's not too personal, what stopped you from committing suicide after posting your final twit longer? I was laying down. Holy I think shit. Vanessa was like, like holding me, right? I think at some Shut point up, I looked Fabi. at her and I was like, dead. Because at that point in time, when when all that stuff was was coming out, I remember I couldn't sleep for maybe like two and a half days or something. And I remember I I just looked at her and she was trying to stay up because she she couldn't sleep, you know. But she was kind of like she wanted to sleep, and this is not the type to to stay up. I'm not gonna lie, I was so scared of him going to the bathroom alone, him just being alone because those moments for him were. Can we get back to the ice cube and the vagina shit? Like, what are we talking? You want to skip this part? Well, yeah, I don't think it belongs. I want to know what happened with the allegation. All right. Yes, well, when you make so your zero video, weird. when you make your zero video, you can fucking put the I'm pieces sorry, where you want. I'm sorry. Is this a T video? Why are we leveraging so much on fucking emotion? I thought you're the receipts guy. Fucking literally right after this. Yeah, exactly. That's why this, so what like, do you this mean? is so sus. This is so sus, dude. Then fucking skip it. No, let's let's keep watching. Let's keep. All right, watching. Let me, shut the all right, fuck let me up while you're watching for, it. Let me decipher what's going on here. So Nick's argument here is that he doesn't think after the allegations are presented, we should go into a sob story about how he almost killed himself. Instead, it should be all of the facts laid out first, Dude, and then you, get to the emotion. Oh, wait, right? so when you have your banger part that goes through like six straight bullshit allegations in a row, you like fucked all of those up immediately, point for point for point for point for point. Then you're like, actually, this one's kind of bad. Let me explain what he did. And then there's like a whole fucking like four minute segment about like his fucking battle with suicidal thoughts right after that. And then you're like, okay, now that we've properly poisoned the well, let's start talking about those allegations what of that 14 year old. The well. Well, what do you call a fucking huge emotional outburst in the middle of the fucking video that's going over the receipts? This is fucking context that didn't exist prior to this video. Nobody knew he killed himself prior to your video. Nobody I, knew I, that I, he sorry, was going to attempt to, to kill himself. himself after posting this. Didn't he do a whole interview about suicidal thoughts already? Yeah, but that was the relapse in March. I'm talking about the initial. All right, dude. If you can find this context anywhere else, go for it. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, him saying that he was suicidal doesn't negate his confession. That's really I fucking weird. I'm just saying that's the situation that produced the confession. I'm not like if you admit if you put this in fucking court, this is not admissible because this is under. It's not in direct. court, dude. We're not talking about emotional arguments. Versus yeah, but if legal you're going to, are we doing is, emotional or legal? Did I'm he, literally like, I'm talking about legal shit in the video. I'm saying okay. you can't prosecute this because this was a situation where it was well, under it feels duress. like you're bouncing back and forth between emotional and legal for whatever is like admissible at a given time, like whatever helps the situation. All right, you're black. Continue the video. All right. All right. And I cannot imagine how he felt as he was the one going through all of this. I just felt so bad. I felt like I was putting her into this scenario. I, I looked at her and I just said, let me just go and, and, and end this. She was like, no, 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 please. No, she, I, remember, I remember she begged me not, not to do anything. I felt like the world was crashing on us. And at that point, death felt nicer than you know what was going on i had to witness the love of my life having his world crushed i wrote up the thing and i was just sitting there for like 
20 minutes just looking at the monitor so the plan was that i was going to upload it and then i was just going to just cut myself like you know with a, with a knife that i had around the main method i've always used has always been cutting so yeah that that's just what i was thinking i didn't have access to, to anything else at the time i don't know what it was but vanessa kind of kind of came into the room and i remember she came to the office and she gave me like this very long hug she was just telling me everything will be fine i remember feeling like this this warm because i felt really cold she went downstairs she made me my favorite food which was like steak with mashed potatoes it's always it's a classic for me she sat there and she was just like cutting the pieces herself and just feeding me because i don't know it's just i was like a like a potato at that point i don't know it, it made me feel like this sense of, of peace that i that i didn't have at that point i, I really do think that I, for some reason she wasn't in my life or maybe she went to the store or something i i, I definitely would have died i mean i can't really explain it to you but i don't, I don't really want to go through that ever again what changed between then and march of this year that prompted the sudden relapse because we saw a bunch of articles come out and obviously vanessa posted on twitter that you were in the hospital after another suicide attempt there was like a month in january where i was like i think i can fix this i think this is this is workable i have hope we can do this you know and then in february i feel like realism sick and then i was just like you know it's over you know there's nothing you can do what i basically convinced myself was that i, I started slowly shifting my thoughts to well if i can't fix it in, in this life maybe i can be gonzalo too i can die and then be reborn and then i can try again you know honestly looking back i feel like i legitimately went insane now that i'm explaining it to you it's 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 embarrassing it just sounds so stupid i mean i've always been kind of weak mentally i think just the way i look at myself is very very bad compounded with what happened compounded with having pretty much no one at that point in my life it just felt like just felt like i went crazy and then you know i turned to the the worst possible option okay so we're through Zero's interview there. Next up, we have the DMs. Anybody want to say anything before we get to that? Yeah, go for it, Nick. I'm, I think I, that pretty much explained everything I was going for there. That that whole segment is totally fucking weird. Am I, am I crazy, Bob? Oh, am I crazy? No, no, no. Uh, my, I mean, I, my if issue... I make the argument, if I make the argument in the video that the context behind the confession was under extreme duress, then this is directly related to the argument that I'm making in the video. I don't know, dude, I feel like you have to show what he did first before you start going into like the excuses on why he's not like responsible I did. for his own actions. I showed the allegation. Yeah, where are the screenshots? They're behind I'm, it. My yeah, point is showing it right my now. point is you literally cut it in half this whole segment and in the middle you put a huge emotionally charged segment in there. I think you should have presented what he actually did fully yeah, yeah, yeah. in its so entirety. The issue with the and video, then right? you could talk about later on in the video how he's felt since then. I think that's like the charitable yeah, yeah, way yeah, to I do agree. it. I think I, this I, is really I don't this have is issue. really manipulative. Well, my my but... thing is I don't have an issue with the segment. I just think like the uh the pacing of it is, is the problem here. So you're going from huge allegation terrible thing to emotional segment to then the dms i think it should have like, been here's i get the this guy's your friend the DMs, like, i absolutely and then the understand interview at the end. that's what i'm just saying i get where you're coming from okay like that this is, it's, this va is it's valid that you think that but you. i think it's still well yeah obviously i'm a part of this community so no 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 i think you're like close friends with zero i and like have not I, I, known zero since like five months ago I don't, I don't know. Then. I'm trying to get up. Uh, it's weird. All right. Should we get some more? Yeah. The ordering of it is just because like it started out with like he confessed to something. Right. And is that confession like real or is it like did he just lie in his confession because he was feeling suicidal? That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, that's yeah. Literally, literally play this next part. All right. Mm -hmm. Nobody in this situation can know for certain besides Zero and Katie. So let's look at what Took we do know. Took the fucking words right out of my mouth, technicals. In a second. In the messages we are provided, it's very clear that Zero is being flirted. Okay. Let's read these messages. Let's read these, please. Let's make this bigger on my end. In a second. In the messages. So let's see. Which one is Zero? Zero is the one in the light blue text. Uh, uh, Zero is the one with the anime picture of the girl. Yes. Okay. It's the one light blue. So, girl says, all right, and go Zero. Imagine me with pom-poms and a cheerleader outfit or something XD. Zero says, Elmeo, adorable. Hee hee, thanks. Wait, you, the legendary Zero? Just call me adorable? Yeah, you are ador adorable, cutie. Let's get to more. Zero says, lol, you are so adorable. Oh my gosh, too much. Stop. Sorry, Zero. 
Oh, sorry. The girl is the one in the blue text here, I guess. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm confused on who's who, but. I think the girl is the anime picture, right? Because she's saying, sorry, Zero. I was blushing like dim tomatoes. I couldn't focus on my work. Solid. No, that's Zero. Because you can literally see the profile pic next to the name up top. Oh, uh, okay. I, I keep oh. getting confused who's fucking like. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the no, name no, is Zero's changing. the anime girl. Yeah, She's yeah, yeah. the blue okay. text. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Zero. I was blushing like dim tomatoes for you. I couldn't work. I couldn't focus on my work. Sawi. I'm not like that. Seems like you just did, honey. Ha ha. Super cool. Glad have you on board, honey. Woohoo, party These bus. are bad quality because these are from Jisoo. Like, these mm. are just what I had to download. Yay. Tell me some more about you. Like, what do I not know about you? Girl then says, oh, um, I'm 14. I'm a girl. I'm smart, but I love Smash. I could tell you my Smash backstory. He says, tell me everything. Yeah, and how's your life and stuff going on? Or, yeah, how's your life and stuff? Uh, Zero sends a frowny face. I agree she with says, By the yours. way, that ad is really good. <laughs> Bleach it away. Good one. Yeah. She says, you're so overdoing this. He says, why? I mean, bleach, like, clean, get rid of these screenshots. Not, like, suicide, just to be clear. Yeah. This is just him, like, calling her adorable and then saying really such I shit. love you. React so funny to things. Mad adorable. It's like when you rub a cat's belly and then they just roll around. You will not rub my belly. Yeah. Why only do that? Is that it? I think there's... Is there not... Okay, where is this... All right, so do you have the screenshot where they're talking about, like, the ice cube? There, It doesn't exist. So the ice cube stuff just never happened. Nick, are you even listening? Because I said that earlier in the video. I'm just asking. Because I, I, you're here right now. So the um, ice cube stuff just doesn't exist. Yeah, she said she didn't take pictures of it because she was embarrassed. That's, no, that's no, no, her no. explanation. Not... Oh, hold on. Does him asking for the ice cube exist? Not the actual ice cube picture. No, Obviously, you don't have child I'm saying. porn. It doesn't exist. Okay. Translation, I love you. So, Sundry. Someone asked how old is Zero. This is 1914. 1914. Yeah, Zero's 19 at this she point. She says, what the hell? No. Uh, he says, oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Lol. Translating equal. Oh my gosh, I love this. Please continue. I'm melting. She says, oh my gosh, shut it. Oh, my best friend says hi. And she thinks you're cool since you're making my face so red right now. And this is from like, so this is from Jisoo. Um, does Zero no. not have access? You just said these screenshots were from Jisoo. These One are, of them was. That was well, I got quality. it from her document. These are Katie's screenshots. Okay, just does so Zero still like have access to the full chat log? No, because Skype deletes it if you don't um, save it in a special folder. Or like, I think Skype just kind of fucking dumped a lot of their their archive as well okay because it would delete over a certain period of time like six months or some shit yeah so as far I, as we know this is the most egregious stuff that zero has done mm -hmm. uh, uh right yeah from, if you if you think that his confession is null and void then yeah right <coughs> see i i, I okay. have to agree, i have to agree with nick though i feel like this should have been played before because like it's ultimately it's up to this video here's the deal you market this video as case closed. In my opinion, it's not really a closed case because ultimately how the viewer walks away with their perception of zero depends on whether or not they take his statement uh, where he's admitting to it and then later saying it was a suicide note seriously or not. If they take it seriously, then they're assuming zero is acting in good faith and that nothing bad happened. But if they don't take that explanation seriously, if they're looking at him saying, yeah, everything she said is correct. Yes, I did do those things. Yes, I'm ashamed of it. Yes, don't defend me. Then this paints a really fucking weird picture here. Because like this is, I mean, this is really bad. I mean, 1914, it's, it's, undef it's indefensible. So Nick's saying you should play the full the the full accusation like knowingly 1914. It. Right, right, yeah. knowingly. Because she says it in the DMs right here, right? <laughs> so that's really what Nick's saying. I'm saying that I think it feels almost like emotional blackmail. It's like, all right, here's this really fucking bad thing that I'm going to put right down in front of you. But before we go too far into it, I want to show you how much this has impacted Zero. So I need to show you that, like, he needs to talk graphically about, like, how he was going to kill himself. I need a statement from his wife to talk about how he was distraught. I need to put all this in here. And then, like, well, all right, what I don't get back. what you're saying is that the worst thing doesn't exist. And I literally talk about the worst thing before I go into that segment. I say, but that how do I we know the worst thing, thing doesn't exist? Because it, li it literally does not exist. There's no evidence of it, is what I'm saying. 
okay, but we have him saying it happened and we don't have the logs. So I can't no, like 100% confirm this, this didn't is happen. This is his side of it. This is his side of it. This is his explanation for the confession. Yeah, but his explanation is also that she's telling the truth. You understand how he's given two different yes, stories. During during a time where all these other false stories and everyone fucking hates him and everyone's telling him to kill himself at Absolutely. the same time as all of that. So yes. your whole argument is entirely whether I'm willing to dismiss an entire no, I'm not fucking saying statement dismiss it. he gave. I'm not even saying dismiss it. I don't even say that You're this is wrong. I literally say closed. this is a legitimate problem. The case isn't problem. closed. This case is wide fucking open. There, this is a, what this other is a cold is case. That, what it's other a cold case. Can you say it's without a, a shadow case? of a yeah? Can you say without do you a know shadow what cold of a doubt? Case even means it's not. There's nothing you can do with it. It's still open. We we have no leads. We don't know where to go from here. Can you tell me without a shadow of a doubt that this did not happen? One hundred percent. I'm not willing to bet your whole chat on it. Find a single part in this video where I say this didn't happen, and I will argue okay, that with you dude. all day. All right, but then it's not a closed case. What do you mean? I present it, I present both sides, and then that's fucking it, because there's literally nothing else you can do with it. Okay. Am I, am I supposed to put cold case right, files yeah. in the fucking title? Probably! It would be more that's accurate not than as what you that's actually not as put! Good. You know for a fact that's not as good. Not Augie, as good for what? SEO? Zero cold case files. Yeah. Oh zero my cold God. case files. Uh, wait, hold on, I'm talking about your accuracy, not your fucking title scheme, dude. Where is I'm it inaccurate? Where is it inaccurate? Point because to, the point case isn't closed. You don't know for a matter of fact that it doesn't exist. <sighs> the screenshots do not exist. I can't know, and only Katie and Zero know. Okay, so for so, everyone okay, else, so the case this... is just this. Okay. There is an anonymous girl who's, again, anonymous. I totally get that. Who's coming out saying that this, like, X, Y, and Z happened. We have... Two different statements, which, by the way, we said before that girl contradicted her statement, so her story was bullshit, like, five minutes ago. But we yeah. have Zero, who came out and said that, like, it's true. There's just no screenshot of it. And now we also have Zero, who's come out... Well, actually, I, I don't know. Has he come out and said that, like, it 100% didn't happen now? No, that's not what he said. You can watch his statement after this if you want. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen his whole statement, to be fair. But it's like... So... We don't know. That's all I'm trying to say is we don't know if this happened or not. Like, so the case That's isn't what closed. what I said before I even showed these screenshots. All right. But like the video is called. I feel like you're taking closed. little things and then making it mean more than it does like case closed and shit. Like that's literally just a fucking aesthetic detective thing. What am I supposed to call it? Cold case? What do you, what I would mean, you be happy with? I'm pretty sure cold case file is like a huge genre on YouTube, but this is a total stupid argument. I'm not going to get bogged down in it. I'm just saying, like, it's just, it's weird that okay, you let me come in, you this. knock down the big, all right, you, you want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically what Nick's saying right. is that you promote, it, it, his, his issue is how you mark this video, right? Because this video isn't zero's back and, you know, this is why I think he should be allowed to make content again or something like that. No, this the is video is like my friend Zero is coming back. And well, Tech I, like, isn't I'm not, not, not saying the Zero's title. on his friend. Okay, but fair, I'm just saying if, if you market it as like Zero's back and I don't care or something like that. I mean, I'm not like saying SEO is great for that title. I'm just saying like if you're marketing it like that, but like, I'm not really as an emotional about the title. Piece. I'm talking about how the video is presented, right? Because the video is presented in a very similar way to how the Sky Williams video is presented. In the Sky Williams video, Sky is cleared of pretty much like everything because what everything Sky like it's just yeah, exactly. point for point for point for point the whole video. There's no like awkward right. moment where we have to. Like, I don't go think through. the Zero situation is comparable to the Sky situation because all. Although zero and it's a is harder falsely, sell. And, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but let me explain this. Although zero is falsely accused of various things, I mean, the first six points Technos brings up, we literally agree with him on. The main problem here is that the biggest thing against zero is something he admitted to doing and then later said didn't happen. Right. So that's never not, said he never said he didn't message Katie just to put that on the table. No, I don't I'm know. Talking we're talking about, about like, the the masturbation, the ice like, cubes, the pictures. Everything the she said is pictures. true, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, he didn't my, even exchange. He never sent a dick pic. He never got a picture. Like, okay, my understanding of his twit longer. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Is he's admitting for asking for the pictures of the ice cube? That's word for word. Yeah. Okay. So all I'm saying is, just because he's in a bad headspace doesn't mean I'm going to ignore that testimony. And it's okay if you want to. And it's okay if a large. I guess it's okay if a large 
uh, percentage of the Smash community wants to, but like I'm not sold, <laughs> and that's and my the, biggest problem with that's your video. Fair. You don't have I'm to not be. sold. You don't have to be. This is a case where you can still think that what he did was wrong and bad, and choose to support him or not support him. That's not the end thesis that I made in this video. Okay. Well, in fairness to technicals here technicals does uh I, I think he said one point in his video later on or something where he's yeah, like, yeah, he absolutely maps yeah, yeah. out he's like well yeah if you don't it's, i'm not gonna sit here and say like you have to uh right right, right. which i thought was a yeah. fair point by the way just, yeah i mm -hmm. don't think everyone needs to support zero like that's not what i'm trying to get across here i just i'm just giving my fucking statement on yeah. the show well, didn't you start a hashtag there like welcome back zero or something like I feel like the goal is like you definitely want people to Well, this is to repair. This right? is absolutely to repair his reputation in the community. I'm not going to like move on that point. Right would, right. would you not say that's like a goal of yours Well, to come back to content creation? I think he mm -hmm. I think he should be allowed to post videos because mm -hmm. I personally don't think he's a threat to children from the arguments I make in this video. I don't that's think he's a threat conclusion. to children either. Yeah, I haven't seen Apple evidence that he'd be on. No, I'm fine with him making See, content again. I just think he's kind like of sketchy. Current, I think he's kind of weird. Yeah, and, and that's fair. I think that's fair. Okay. But that's why it's the welcome back. That's why at the end of the video, I specifically say, I'm not asking for an apology. I'm not asking for justice. So I'll just say the only thing that's left to say, welcome back. Okay, that's fair. Well, let's keep going. Yep. All right, let's keep watching. Yeah. Fixable, and he'll be the first to tell you that. A lot of concerned individuals on social media have been saying things like, Zero should be in jail. Or, my guy, he was getting pics from underage girls, he's a pedo. Well, if that's the case, then why hasn't he been Drake belled yet? <laughs> that's a joke, right? Yes. Like, I'm a, just saying. Do you know who you, Drake Bell is? No, no, I know Drake Bell. I'm saying you're not, like, I was making sure that you're not saying, like, if he's, if he's really a pedo, why hasn't he been arrested yet? Because I've seen people do that. But I assume you're joking in that capacity. Yeah, I, this is a joke just to segue into um, how this yeah. would actually be prosecuted. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Zero will never see a second of jail time or even court over this. There's a few reasons why. First off, Katie is anonymous. And for legal action, you have to obviously file charges. Okay. In this segment, you're specifically talking about the legal argument, not saying that because if he were to go to jail, uh, yeah, I'm not making this isn't a moral argument. Oh, okay. So, you, I because I was wondering that when I first watched the video, I was like, is he saying because he's not going to get jail time, no, nothing morally bad was committed here, or something for sure? Because if that, well, yeah, no, no, it's, no. I don't know. I don't like going back and forth between legal and moral. So, like, it, what should I do? Twenty minutes of law and then twenty minutes of emotion. I that don't know, dude. That doesn't flow. <sighs> that's not a, that's it, not a flow. You wouldn't have made it at all. You would have procrastinated for six months and then gave me the final piece. And so. picked a different topic, yeah. <laughs> Damn. I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's weird to jump from those screenshots to be like, listen, guys, he never even would be prosecuted. This girl hasn't even shown her face, lol. <laughs> that's literally <laughs> it, true, it, though. What's wrong with saying that? I mean, yeah, he's not going to be prosecuted. 99% of YouTube drama is not going to lead to a prosecution. I don't know. I don't think that's true. I think you just pulled that out of your ass so you can feel better about it, but okay. What do you mean? How, okay, sorry. How 90%? Many, now, how, many, yeah, how many YouTube drama stories have Augie that could have be covered? prosecuted? A, the potential, not that it has been prosecuted. This isn't even okay, possible yeah, well, to prosecute. I'm sorry, well, if the logs get fucking brought up and there's a bunch of shit in there, it could, yeah, maybe it could be prosecuted. Who fucking knows? Who knows what's actually in all I, of the can't logs? Can't everything technically be prosecuted? Yeah, anything know? can literally, you can this sue somebody can't? for everything. Doesn't mean you'll win. Wait, explain why this can't. I'm. Oh my god! If you don't hit play right fucking yeah, now, I'm gonna come over your house. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm just like I'm trying to be fair here. All right, I'm really yeah. trying. All right, I'm not trying to fucking make technicals look bad. I'm also not trying to let Nick get fucking railroaded. All right, so I'm balancing a very difficult act. But let's let's just play the video. Since there's no actual documentation or sexually explicit images exchanged, this isn't a place where the federal government would get involved either. Even Zero's confession wouldn't hold up in court because it was made under extreme stress and outside pressure. If that's what you were expecting, I'm sorry to break it to you, but realistically it's not gonna happen. Now the million dollar question is, is Zero a pedophile? Now I know that this is a very emotionally charged subject and some of you have probably already made up your minds, but when it comes to a label that would suggest past, present, future, and potential harm of children, I think it's important to make sure that the shoe fits nice and snug. 
For instance, let's take someone who more than likely could be categorized as a pedophile, EDP445. EDP had messaged multiple underage girls, and despite almost getting caught one time, still ends up in a sting operation with a 13-year-old. You've been exposed for this before. Correct. You do you fantasize about females under the age of 16, yes or no? Sometimes. Yes. Okay. People who are pedophiles like children. We've seen the same thing happen <laughs> on To Catch a Predator. Do they? It's nothing new. Yes. You know, you look familiar to me. Oops. Much That's right. Seen, Oops, he's done it again. Repeat offenders literally cannot help themselves. It's classified in the DSM-5 as a paraphilic disorder, which means that they have persistent sexual urges or fantasies about children and act on them, or it causes them extreme distress or difficulty in their interpersonal relationships. Jisoo, I, I want to add a note they... right there. Well, so for yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm adding a note. So this is saying like repeat offenders, like people who ha constantly have like sexual fantasies about children. It would be like a, a paraphilic disorder, but it's still very possible to um, be a pedophile and have like a pedosexual orientation. I hate this whole fucking yeah. Like you, I like hate the stream. Uh, I, I was hate about, about this. <laughs> I, I just I, oh god, Bobex, what do you got? I don't want to cut you off. I was gonna say like you can be Ugh. a pedophile, but not like act on it like all the fucking time, dude. You could be a pe but you could be a pedophile yeah, seven and literally years? never act on it. You could be a pedophile. No, I don't. And act I don't on it one time. I, I don't think there's a, like, I don't, a given time I, frame. Like, I think this uh, is totally mm, anecdotal okay. and it makes no sense in the video. I'm sorry, Bobex. Anecdotal. Well, Where's the story, nigga? Quote it. I don't okay. I don't think Zero's a pedo, but the defense of he can't be a pedo because he's only done it once it yeah, is like a, you, are saying, you only no, no, a pedo no, no, no. if you no, like no, no. offend two times this, or three times? No, like, this builds know. this is building an argument for the behavioral trend, which would like very clearly show that he is a predator with predator tendencies. So if there's a person who is like inter interacting with a child and they don't show like a pattern of behavior and they get caught one time. Do you think that person is like, a, I guess, morally bad for one or two? Would you be okay with that person being perceived as a pedophile? <laughs> Bo Black's out here making the no map argument. <laughs> what? Oh, like the, that you can be a pedophile without like acting on it. Well, you can. I, I'd still say that's bad, and you need to get fixed for it. Yeah, has Shad Base ever done a kid? I think that guy's a pedo. I'm just asking. Yeah, like, well, that's a whole so other so argument. No, but if somebody offends one time or never at all, would you still consider them to be a pedophile? Offend how? And again, like, like I don't know if them? I would even consider Zero a pedophile. I'm just saying, like, let's say I that there's, like... I don't think he is, for the record. No, yeah, I agree. Let's just say, like, if somebody, like, I don't know, what's, like, a... Does anyone have, like, a similar situation that we could draw Yeah, from? that's what I'm trying to think, because I'm not trying to answer a false a equivalent. A similar situation well, okay, Zero. Kiwi, Kiwis, as far as we Kiwis know, did it twice. only offend... <laughs> Only offended like five years ago, right? But he hasn't offended since. All right, let's just say flat know. example. Flat example. Um, or line maker, I guess. Flat example. I don't uh, know those cases. There's like a. I don't want to make it like too similar, or too different. I need like something right down the middle. Um, so you have an example of a 20 year old talking to a 15 year old. Let's go up one age on every one of the every part of it. Um, this, let's say in hype. Actually, let's go with the worst case scenario. Hypothetically, a 20-year-old asked a 15-year-old to masturbate with an ice cube one time seven years ago, but has never shown this like um, pattern of behavior with anybody else ever again. Let's say, just for the sake of argument, images were transferred. So there's like an objectively fucked situation here that we can absolutely prove without a shadow well, of a doubt. Well, if the... <laughs> if the images are exchanged, that's even more fucked up. The, the it, it is with even more fucked up, but I'm asking, like, yes. would you be okay with it knowing for a matter of fact that a person requested nudes from a 15-year-old? Well, the thing about Zero's case is that he was exposed to sex when he was five and he was molested as a child. Yeah, I don't care about that shit. That happens to a lot of pedophiles and tons of people are molested that don't touch kids. I'm just asking for you, it, it, like, if you knew for a matter of fact that Vito went, uh, Vito, uh, fucking <laughs> Zero. <laughs> 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 Damn, Nick, a little Freudian Whatever, slip there. Sorry, sorry, a little Freudian slip there. I'm just saying, for a matter of fact, we knew for a matter of fucking fact that, like, he did this. Would you say that was objectively fucked? It, well, you're saying you don't give a shit about any of the context. 
So what do you mean the context? Can you just answer con- my question? The context of like if they like because morality is obviously subjective, right? So if you don't have a good understanding between right and wrong, and you're fucking mentally stunted, and you ha- you're traumatized since you were a child, there that adds to it. So you're you pretending that, like, like it doesn't, but that does. Okay, add to all right. It. So in your so in your own like all right, if I, let me try to like, figure this out. So because zero was abused that affects your judgment on whether like in this hypothetical it, on whether it's okay to ask a 15 year old for nudes at the age of 20. i'm not saying it was good i'm not saying it's it's acceptable no, i'm at just all. asking for you to say it was bad i'm not being critical yeah it is to... bad i'm okay, just saying you, that it's not a behavioral trend that would suggest he's a pedophile i would agree okay it's wrong but i'm Here, not saying that because of this he here's is a pedophile. my question on this um, is it unreasonable to come to the conclusion that Zero is no. a pedophile based on this? No? Nobody's, everyone's saying no on that? Okay, because I don't think it's that crazy if people, I don't, I don't know. Here's if my Leffen thing. If Leffen and Jisoo saw this one situation, and they think that, like, I think they're totally justified in feeling that way. Okay, here's my stance. I don't think they're I justified yeah, well, to they lie. Also, I don't they also know yeah, yeah, Zero. I agree with you. I agree with you. I don't think they're justified in lying, but if they saw just this one situation, and that's their takeaway, I think they're entirely justified in that take. Yeah. And I hate Jisoo, and I'm indifferent on Levin. Actually, yeah. I hate Levin I, more. I, I don't know video. if Zero's a pedophile. I, I would have to do so much fucking... I'd probably have to know the guy to fully come to that conclusion. Even then, it would be difficult, right? But based on what we see right here, if you do not buy Zero's uh, explanation that his admittance to it was a suicide note, all right, if you don't buy that, then is it really unreasonable to think that he might be a pedophile? I don't know. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, this isn't one of those situations where I'm looking for, oh, this is a fucking victory. Everyone that doesn't agree with me is wrong. If you don't know Zero, if you don't know the case, and you see this, and you look at it, and you think he's a bad person, irredeemable, a pedophile, you would probably be justified in thinking that, because okay, I, I can't tell you how to think. Right. Yeah. But what, cool. what I'm, yeah, this is, so yeah, you can say that this is a little bit of my side, but it's, it's fucking up to interpretation at that point, because you guys don't think he's a pedophile either. Yeah, so I don't know. At, at 20, I'm not making a judgment call. On or at twenty, he asked a fifteen-year-old for nudes, and then we have all these circumstances around it. And the core argument is: Do you think that's a slip-up, or do you think that's indication of pedophilia? I'm saying that like this that's the future. A, I'm saying that's and that's, and that's up to opinion. That's See, up like to I'm, opinion, I'm just saying that's objectively bad. I don't care if it's like done argument. more than once or something. That's enough for me to say like, all right, well, I don't. I'm not going to make a huge judgment call. I'm just going to stay the fuck away. Yeah, from that one person. time. Well, yeah. <laughs> One time too many. Fucking Sal, if you look up the age of consent in Chile, I'm not using this as an argument, but I also think that it's fucked up that the age of consent is 14. Well, I agree with that. I I agree with that. But but why is it 14 in Chile? Like, what what is that? There's, like, morality is busted wide the fuck open. I don't think he's, like, a pedophile. I just think this shit's weird. Yeah, but, like, all right, so a lot of your points in your video, and again, you can stop me if I'm being disingenuous or anything, if you think I'm being disingenuous. A lot of your points in the video, like, you bring up the, you just brought up the um, age of consent there. I think you bring it up in the video, if I remember correctly. No, because someone super chatted it. So. No, but I remember you saying that in the video. Did, was that not in there? I say it um, after the point where I'm saying he was, um, he started acting gay to cope with the trauma of being molested. And then I show the age of consent because yeah. in the age of consent for Chile, it says that if you're a heterosexual couple, the age of consent is 14. And if you're a homosexual couple, the age of consent yeah, is 18. Yeah, there's obviously morality's fuck. I'm just saying like you bring up the Chile stuff, you bring up like his uh, prior trauma and stuff like that with what happened with his family. And then the whole Nairo section is kind of just a huge what about. So it's like Nairo has objective has potentially yeah, because done objectively worse you'd have you to be in the smash better. community to understand that no I, i'm not denying that that's probably the case i just don't think that matters in the grand scheme of zero no if nairo is treated I, if wait if nairo is objectively bad or worse than zero then he should he should be like extra he i mean the video should be like why nairo is bad right you you have to think of it as an address to the fucking decision made by the Smash community if this is a video about the Smash community because they treated him. all His his explanation was, I didn't do it. Here's my friends saying I didn't do it. We're all good, right? So I'm saying if that's cool, that's really fucking weird that everyone would still yeah, be on you're, the you're, fuck zero train. But the difference between you and me is your video is like, why are we on the fuck zero train? And my video would be, why are we okay with Nairo? Like, that's the difference. Like, I, my, my first thought wouldn't be, I'm going to make the fucking big zero video. If I if I was as confident as you are in that, because I don't know everything about Nairo, but I, I kind of see where you're going with it in the video. I would have made, like, the why the fuck are we cool with Nairo video. 
Yeah, Am I wrong? A separate, that's a separate video. Yeah, but it's also part of this video because it's like yeah, the because other it's relevant. Case. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I'm just saying it's not. It's it's used as like a what about, and I don't think I think it's kind of pointless for this video. You think it's pointless? Well, I think there are a few pointless sections for this video. That one, dude. He the, had a uh, trending hashtag where all the top players and figures were wishing him back. They're fucking collaborating with him on YouTube. Like zero. Yeah, is but the I don't. I don't think like the Smash Lara. community being wrong. If that's the case, just I, I, I'm going to put a huge allegedly here because I don't know. I'm not fully versed in the Nairo situation, but like um, if the Smash community welcomed him back and he's done worse than Zero, I think that's objectively bad for the Smash community. Not like, well, why are we treating Zero so poorly? Like favoritism is bad, but like I don't think that really does anything to help Zero's case in any capacity. OK, well, that's your opinion. Well, the, the, the whole the thing is like helping his public perception and then he's critiquing how the Smash community reacts to public perception of someone who did something similar or arguably worse. Yeah, that's and again, arguably, like, definitely worse. Okay, I, I just don't do, know do, the situation. That's why I worded okay, it Okay, so the Nairo, the Nairo case, he, uh, his, his side is that he was raped. Like, Captain Zack, a 15-year-old, when he was 20, forcibly um, did oral on him while he was sleeping and then blackmailed him into another instance of oral. Okay, that's, I just worded right, it that, that way because right, I didn't look, know what the situation. I don't think we're going to agree on this, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think you've done anything super disingenuous uh, intentionally with this video. Uh, I, I view this as kind of a puff piece for somebody, and whenever I'm hearing a puff piece that uses stuff like the age of consent laws in Chile or the fact I'm that I'm not using the child, age of consent law as like a, a fallback. I don't ever no, use but you're using, it's, it's cool because no, it's 14. No, but you're like you're differentiating because like he was abused as a child and stuff like that. Dude, these are all like arguments that I don't want to be on the side of in any capacity. I brought so I would up never the age of video. consent because of the LGBTQ rights issue in Chile. Because they okay, are but you not, all, they're like behind. All right, all right well then we'll move on. All right, then I'll leave that alone. I'm talking more about like the um the stuff that you're saying involving like uh he was abused as a child and stuff like that. So that plays into his perception. And stuff. These are all like arguments that I think are like fucking. So you think there's zero correlation between being molested and I just don't care. I think a child predator is a child predator. I don't care how they got there. They all right, the, well, uh, well, you uh, don't they care. The so yeah. and argument. no, no, because listen, 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 listen. Every fucking person has the decision on whether they want to hurt a child. I don't give a fuck if your backstory is Wait, worse than somebody else's Does anybody care about backstory. the circumstances that lead a pedophile to do pedophilic things? Does anybody actually care about that? I would be surprised. Well, technicals is uh, arguing it. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not so saying like saying? we're taking it from the stance of, yeah, we're going to argue an objective pedophile and why they do things i'm arguing it from the stance that he's not even a pedophile even though this instance would we're not, be we're bad not talking like considered... hold on we're not talking about uh zero in this instance we're talking about just in general pedophiles offending who've been previously molested uh, do you think that matters it matters like, to understanding why it happens well, because well, in psycho in psychology if you don't understand what creates a monster you can't stop it from happening but if if yeah, we yeah, agree, I, like, I if it happens who cares like it happened Dude, if you don't fucking care about stopping the source of the problem, then you don't care about the problem stopping at all. Stopping the source of the problem? Am I going to get a time machine and go beat the shit out of Zero's dad? That's not what I'm saying. Oh my fucking god, you're fucking retarded. Please just play the video. Okay. Alright. Third, third party witness or evidence, yet had she not come forward, Zero would still be manipulating <laughs> children in our community. Let's ignore the fact that the earliest evidence for this claim by Leffen is seven years ago, during the same time frame that Zero is involved with three grown women and one lying that they were. Even after gaining significantly more money and more access to minors, there's been no new cases. Before he was canceled, he even ran an entire team of children. This would be <laughs> the perfect Wait, case the study entire I've ever- Guys, listen, he was surrounded by kids. He didn't molest any of them. He's fine. There's it, no red flags. There's no nothing. What do you mean? That's that's direct. Oh my god! I, what is that you're fucking arguing... added to this discussion, dude? What do you like, mean? What is added to uh, the discussion? If he it, has a whole team, call? if he has a whole team where he reaches out to children and there's no fucking red flags anywhere in the video or anywhere that in the that doesn't do the anything months. for the argument. That's so stupid. Because dude. you're not smart enough to understand the you argument. You interviewed a kid who worked for him and asked him if he ever felt like he was being fuck. What was it? He What's didn't work for him. He was sponsored. Yeah, he joined his team. He was part of Team Zero. Yeah, that's I remember not working that. for him. He's okay. paying for him you to go do it, stuff. Wait, you called it a business relationship in the video. Where did I call it a business relationship? 
Did you not call it a... the group chat had a business vibe? Well, didn't the kids yeah, say that it was vibe. a business? I said it was professional. No, I didn't I say it. Business. sworn you said it was a business. Oh, I did say business. It was, it was more like a business. Okay, good. Uh, okay. I'm not crazy. Jesus, fuck. I said it was more like strictly business. Strictly business. Okay. Yeah, that's the... Okay. I mean... So the hey, does argument... anyone actually think that's a good argument? The argument is that... If he was a pedophile, he would be like look, sending look, his cock you, to like Team no, Zero. Like. Look at the fucking look at the tweet that I show from Leffen, and then go and look at what I'm presenting again because I feel like you're ignoring what like predates what I'm posting. Okay. In that fucking screenshot, which you didn't listen to at all, Leffen says that if Zero was not outed, he would still be manipulating children in our community. He ran an entire team of children. If that were to stand up, then why is there no red flags with all of the children that he worked with? Because why the fuck would he oh, piss where guys? he works? And they're, oh no, a, a fucking technicals goes over that in the video, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, no. goes, he goes over the guy's part. That was in Yeah, I, I said that We're while reacting under to the it, idea. and then you brought up that part, and I was like... We're operating under the idea that pedophiles all act like logically, like they're all like like criminals all act, you know. Where and I'm not saying there's a pedophile, all right? I'm just saying like yeah, in this like, hypothetical like, I, I've instance. I've gone over that like fifty times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, like just because they don't do so, like, like people that do bad things don't always think logically. Like they're not always like these deep, you know, Machiavellian masterminds that you know cover the tracks. You know, some people are just fucking aids, right? Like if a priest, for instance, is like a cute, and we went through this fucking hypothetical like privately when we watched this video, but like. <laughs> If a, if a fucking priest is accused of, like, diddling a kid, and he's like, well, here I have an entire, my entire team of altar boys, and I haven't diddled uh, any of them. <laughs> well, it's all the altar boys are safe, dude. Let's yeah. look. If, right I had, if I had another child that I could go to and be like, you know, get their fucking testimony, I would. But the only one that exists, <laughs> the, o the only one that exists is the Katie story but, but wait. from seven years ago. Okay, and this but you just understand that, like, that there's been you no, understand like, you offense. can't interview every child he's come in contact with over the last decade to ask if they felt insecure, right? That doesn't yeah, but don't you think case. that story would have came out when there was, like, 20 stories against him? I'm not, okay, I'm not insinuating he did anything. I'm just saying that just because people who worked around him or were, sorry, sponsored by him or were involved with him didn't have a bad experience, it doesn't mean, like, that nobody did. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it means he didn't manipulate yeah. any of the children he was directly working and promoting. That's great, but what does that actually, what does that add to the How discussion? does that add to the story about him not being a pedophile? Oh, I don't know, Nick. You answer that. What the fuck? Wait, do you... I'm, and this goes back to the question we just had. Do you think it's possible that an actual pedophile, an actual pedophile, removing ourselves from zero, could only offend one time? Or not no, at all? An actual pedophile likes children. Mm -hmm. So you're going to find some behavioral trend. There's going to be something more recent than probably seven years that you could look at. And point so to. all pedophiles have a behavioral trend? Yeah, being a pedophile. So like... All right, there's no, there's no virtuous pedophiles who say that they're not. Oh, oh god, I hate that term. There's no virtuous <laughs> pedophiles that exist that go. There's no virtuous pedophiles that go on YouTube and say that they're not going to hurt children. Well, you Dude, can you act. Can, you can go look up a BuzzFeed without... article of that right now. What do you mean? I'm just saying, like, I don't think that people who are attracted to children all go and fucking act on it. I think they're just as bad and objectively terrible. But you can still have pedophilic um, behavior without make doing a pedophilic crime like if someone tweeted out like oh i really like kids i really like kids that's not illegal so and they're not hurting any kids but that's but your, your goal is to prove that behavior, right, your goal is right? to prove that G, uh, that uh, zero is not a pedophile right yes how can you prove that zero is not a pedophile by interviewing people who've been around him and said go set where they go uh well he never was weird around me how does that prove he's not a pedophile that just proves he didn't molest them this is just saying that he's not manipulating the children of the community because I directly show a, a quote from Leffen saying that if he wasn't removed, he would still be manipulating children in wanna, the community. Okay, but you I don't, don't want to what? Do you want to fucking edit the video? Do you want to change the segments yourself? Well, I don't want to be a dick. I don't want to be a dick, but it's like... You're being a dick oh, the whole time. I don't want to be a dick, but it's like, oh, you're not a pedophile? Okay, dude. Name every child in the community. Oh, uh, we'll just go... We'll interview every single oh one of them. Oh, my fucking God. Dude. I'm just I saying don't, this I doesn't really, add honestly don't get what your point is. Point. How? It, how does it not add anything? Explain that to me. How does this not add anything? Because, all right, so your overall goal is to prove that Zero is not a pedophile. Yes. Right. Okay. How can you accomplish that further by randomly interviewing people who have been, like, around him? 
This isn't random. Like, this is the children. He literally brought these kids into like the mainstream. He brought them out of fucking being just an average player to top players. So if the assumption is that Zero likes kids, Zero manipulates children, he takes advantage of them. Uh, why isn't he taking advantage of any of the children he was fucking directly working with? But which does that he mean he's not a he pedophile and manipulating Which he kids? obviously showed an interest in because he specifically said, I like them. I'm going to sponsor them to support them so they can grow in the community. Right? Look, again... I, again, I just want to stress that I don't think Zero is a pedophile, but like... You're making it real fucking hard to believe you. Why? Because you're arguing every little thing. You're not even giving me like the basic Because I think your points here. are stupid. Okay, I, I don't think How that you can... How is it stupid? Because, all right, I don't think you're doing anything to further your point that Zero is not a pedophile by just interviewing random people who worked with him. Am I wrong, Augie? Oh my god, this is a response to the fucking statement by Leffen, literally right here. Yeah. Am I smoking crack? Like, it, it, yes, it is you're smoking crack. It is a response to Leffen, but I would have, if I made the video, I wouldn't have put the Leffen statement. If you made the video, the you would have just read tweets the entire time. Okay. So I, I Holy okay, shit, okay. dude. Jesus. Yeah, I'm trying Christ. to defend you. What? Uh, Augie, can you? Okay. I, can I get something here? Um. Look, I okay. when I first watched the video, I thought you were responding to point overall, and I my confusion with that was like, who is saying that zero? diddled any kid or talked to any kids in his like team or something like in my opinion nobody was making this argument so why would you even need to address this when i watch this video uh, if i hear it says it right there with the leffen comment manipulating children uh, in the community what else would that mean okay you're please explain you're, that to me so you're like leffen's talking about the community like as a whole right yes okay he's saying in general that he would be manipulating children in the community all right so you understand so, how your sample am size I wrong here for, isn't am I representative wrong? of the entire community, right? Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying in this video I interviewed every child that exists. That's never been an argument. That's fucking retarded that you would ask me that. Okay, I'm just trying to explain it to you because like this doesn't like I don't it's let me how do I try to explain it? You're, coping. you're just not getting it. You're just what not, am I getting, not it. getting what am I not getting? This is like if um okay so this is like saying right say there's a, a person who's um not paying for art right and there's a guy who's going around and he's ripping off artists but he has a like he has a team of artists around him that he always treats extremely well this is like no this doing that artist. no no that's no what, no, okay, no that's no. what i no, think though. no because it would be like he ripped one artist seven years ago and now has a team of artists and hasn't done that shit ever and then going back, like, oh, dude, he ripped off an artist seven years ago. He fucking does this shit every day. He, okay, he, but, he's doing it to the entire art okay. community. All right, all right. Fine. If that's a shitty take, that's a shitty take. What would you add to the conversation if you interviewed the person's artist who says, oh, well, he's never ripped me off before? Oh, How that would does be that pretty good to prove that he doesn't rip people off then, huh? Ugh, I mean, all right, dude. I think what the fuck are you even saying? Like, I, d I don't get it. He didn't do it to me, therefore he can't do it to anybody else. I'm just telling you that, like, if somebody was this... I, I, I don't want to use Zero as an example, because, again, I'm trying to articulate that I don't think Zero is a pedophile. If there is an actual pedophile, like, wouldn't the most obvious place to go and, like, do this be, like, his team of children? How Were all of these people kids? Yes, all of the, all of them are kids except he for would have point to be like exceptionally Wadi. stupid to do that in a team of kids that he constructed for his channel. Yes, he would also have to be in incredibly stupid to be a pedophile. I don't get what your point is. What? Okay. What? What do you mean? I don't know, dude. I, you can't you can't fucking interview a priest's altar boy. And then, like, go, oh, well, he hasn't molested anybody in the community because his altar boys are, are safe. You know what I mean? That doesn't, it doesn't. That's not what I said here, though, is it? It's like you're just adding in, like, this broad fucking statement. I I'm didn't trying make. to make, like, comparisons because we're not connected. When all of this builds up, this is, like, a progressive thing. This isn't, oh, th just this one segment proves everything I just said. That's not what I fucking said here in the video. That's not what I say throughout the video. Everything builds. It's progressive. You're making one one section count for everything. So, like, am I not allowed really to critique a stupid. section of the video? Because no, it's a greater you can critique thing. it, but what you're doing is you're making it the broad statement for the video, which Dude, is Dude, I stopped true. you at every section. We've been talking about this video longer than the runtime. I promise yeah, you I'm fault. addressing every single point of it. 
I'm not just stopping you out of nowhere just to nitpick something. I'm talking about the whole video as a whole. Oh my god, then why would you apply one argument to the entire video instead of like how all of the arguments build section. the point? I am asking you how interviewing one person in this situation I didn't interview accurately one debunks Leffen's tweet. Is Leffen's inter- tweet debunked? Is Leffen's tweet debunked? <sighs> There's nothing that would suggest that that is true. I can't obviously say that, oh, it's 100% inaccurate, but I can give you the best case study that would suggest he manipulates children in the community and then debunk Okay, that. well, I don't think he manipulates children in the community. But again, if you're Jisoo, if you're Leffen, if you're somebody who's biased, if you're looking at this as only looking at uh, Zero as the guy who allegedly asked a girl to, sh- put a, to shove a fucking ice cube in her vagina, okay? It's not out of the realm of possibility that you'd believe what Leffen is saying right there. And you putting up a kid saying, no, he's never been weird about me, doesn't debunk that tweet. That's all I'm trying to say. That tweet said he'd still be manipulating children in the community. What and suggests, you can't, what and suggests that any of that would be to true? Debunk. That's impossible to debunk. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I can call you a rapist. It's impossible to debunk. All right, let's move if on. I fucking rape somebody. Yes. I can There's call you a rapist because you can't pr- What oh am I going to do? God. Interview every person in the world? I can't prove that you're not a rapist. I didn't ask I'm everyone sorry, for their opinion. Sorry, if I fucking got convicted of raping somebody 7 years ago and you walked up to my current convicted. girlfriend and asked her if I fucking raped her, that wouldn't make any sense. Con- Convicted? Where's the conviction? Hold on. Oh my god. Well, with the the expectation of this conversation is if it happened, obviously. Yes. Okay. If I literally got exposed for doing this exact same thing seven years ago, it's reasonable to assume it's possible I could be doing it. That's this is reasonable, possible. These are not given statements. Nobody knows if fucking Leffen's going. Not Leffen. Fuck. I can't get anybody's name right. This whole switch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody knows if fucking Zero is running around doing it. And I, to yeah, be honest, no one, I no probably think he's not. But your section doesn't adequately fucking debunk that tweet if your argument so is that vague if and your stupid, argument you can't yeah it, it doesn't add anything if to your the conversation. argument if your argument is that i can't 100 percent prove that 24 7 zero isn't fucking kids you're right i can't do that i don't have a fucking camera on his cock all right okay. all i'm doing <laughs> is building an argument okay all right dude i don't know all right we all want right, more or... yeah sure all right <laughs> So I reached out to some of Team Zero to see what they had to say on the matter. Yeah, I was a part of a lot of videos he made regarding the young members. As far as I remember, there were no issues or inconveniences during the time he ran the group. Overall, he was a really nice person and always treated all of us with so much respect. It was really awesome to see how someone who I looked up to supported both me and the other younger members so much. He honestly has helped me a lot in many areas. I'm sure it's the same for anyone else he has helped, and I will always be grateful for that. So Kirash, when did you start your time on Team Zero? Well, I actually started as a member um, when I was 15 years old. Right now I'm 17. When I was 15 years old, so March of 2020, okay? So uh, as I'm about to turn 16, that's when Zero reached out to me. We did a video together. We played. And then he said that he um, is going to invite me to Team Zero. And that's when it happened, March 13th of 2020. It's my understanding that you guys had like a group chat too. Did you ever get any weird vibes from Zero? Did he ever ask you guys to do something you probably weren't comfortable with? <laughs> Absolutely not, of course not. We had a Prodigy group chat and like we had Zero um, in it as well. He wasn't very active, but like when he was active, he would just ask us to um to film a video with him. He did an Amiibo video. He did a video where he would fight each of us. It was just mostly us Prodigies interacting with each other, but no, he's done absolutely nothing weird in the group chat. Like he's only spoken a few times and when he would, it was just for uh, getting us to film a video with him. Oh, okay. So it was more like purely business. Yeah. Knowing that there okay, was a private yeah. group chat and this went on for four months, Purely business. I just wanted to reach out to some of you guys in Team Zero to see if there was any yeah, red flags or if you ever felt like yes. Zero was yeah, using yeah. you. 
as a way mm -hmm. to kind of get some gratification. No, no, never. We've never, I've never felt anything like that. I felt like this was just like, like I was just like happy and I felt proud of myself. Like, I don't think, I don't think that's the case. Well, thank you for your time, Kirash. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, he does some Smash news there, a few recaps, and he's also an incredible Luigi player. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, dude, that destroyed Leffen's whole argument. You're retarded. I'm, I, okay. Let whatever. me get the. Like, I mean, I don't know, Augie. You agreed with everything. I don't, I don't know what would. Before, I don't know so. what would. Do you want, uh, at any point, would you like you, to so. chime in? Well, no. I'm, I mean, I, look, I, I just thought, like, in response to Leffen's point, like, interviewing. What I saw this, and I said this in private, was it was the. Um, it was kind of like what Willie Mac did, right? Where Willie Mac interviewed Drew is sharing when he made the Eugenia Cooney video because people were making the allegation that Eugenia Cooney's parents abused her. Willie Mac was like, well, here I have a guy who lived with them for a week and he has nothing but positive things to report. Uh, everything people are saying online and the internet seems to be exactly the opposite in real life. That didn't destroy the narrative that Eugenia Cooney's parents were abusive. That was just an anecdote to go against it, right? And I think what you brought up is an anecdote, um, not like a destruction. I, I think it was more of just like, well, here's an example that points to the contrary, all right? You think, or Leffen thinks that he, and to be fair, when I watched this video, I didn't think that that point was actually just an address, address addressing of Leffen's argument. I thought that was more of a like broader statement overall, but it's not a destruction. It's just an anecdote. Leffen's saying this guy's a monster. He's going to go touch a bunch of kids. You're basically like, well, here's a kid that he worked with. He didn't touch him. He didn't touch any of the kids in there. So bingo, saved. Ultimately, yes. there's no way you can. Okay, so you agree You agree with my assessment then. I, I, Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Okay. Nick, do you disagree? I just, I don't, it, it doesn't debunk Leffen's statement in any capacity. Well, Tech oh agrees God. with me. He you, just said it was an <laughs> anecdote. Oh well, so I'm, I'm, strugg I'm struggling to where like where's the disagreement at at this point? If tech if technicals agrees it's an anecdote, and also agrees that it's not a complete destruction of Leffen's argument, and that's what you're arguing, Nick. Then where are you guys finding disagreement on at this point? Probably my tone, like usual. Okay. All right. Do we want to watch more? Or... Yeah, if you have time, I don't know. Okay, I've got all night. We can do as much as we want. This he had the Disneyland equivalent of a pedophile's paradise and didn't ride Space Mountain once. Damn, Zero's really dropping the ball here. So what? His whole team was full of- Wait, Chad's saying Nick admit Willie's points was pointless? Well, I think Nick would admit that Willie's well, point was an anecdote, I think right? Willie had a stronger argument. And I think, yeah, Willie's absolutely an anecdote. Okay. Yeah, because the one thing built around the entire argument. Okay. Dudes, that only proves he isn't a gay smash pedophile technical. Who cares? To which I respond, <laughs> I guess that the means black guy he on the can subway? cross off 90% okay, wait, 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 wait. of his options. You'd think he'd diversify his profile a little bit. Let's just recap. It would be impossible for Zero to go to jail over this. He never exchanged any images. Every other story involves an adult, and he hasn't had a slip up in seven years. He must Do be the think? dex- Why what, do you call what? it a slip up? Oh, so now you're mad with my wording. No! All right, come on, dude. What, what are you insinuating? Why are you calling it a slip-up? If you're investigating someone, okay, Nicholas Diorio? What is he slipping up from? Slipping up means getting caught in the act. Slipping up. Getting caught, caught in what hands, act? Hands, what do you handed. think he is? Red-handed, red-handed. Red-handed doing just what, Nicholas? You're just arguing about verbiage. Actually, go kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Dude, you're you, calling it a slip up. What do you want? Yeah, it would me, be dude? a it would be a slip up if someone caught him fucking a kid. Yeah, I I do think that's Seriously, true. But what, what are you talking about? But what about? if he get caught what do you want doing me to call like, it? What what are you saying happens what? there? Me? Yeah, yeah. What are you saying he got he slipped up on doing? Like what did he slip up? I'm saying up? there's no case after the Katie thing. All right, is what dude. I'm yeah, that's good, buddy. That was a good one. Oh, oh, can you provide anything to the contrary or are you just going to bitch about it? Well, actually, time? I don't think that he fucks kids, so I can't I can't really oh, disagree okay, with you cool. on that. Okay, cool. So one. you agree. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not the one who's going to catch let's him be, slipping let, up in the process. Be, let's be clear here and like define things for technicals, all right? What was the mistake that you think Zero made here? Uh, his conversations with Katie. 
his flirtatious conversations with Katie that okay. uh, were incredibly inappropriate. Yeah. Okay. So the stuff where they were talking, not like you're, you're saying the ice cube thing didn't happen, right? I'm not saying the ice cube thing didn't happen. Okay. I'm saying the only people who could confirm if it did or didn't happen is them. Okay. Okay. So that's open-ended right, in the so video. Just to be clear. So in the beginning, your point is, so you're not here to exonerate him, right? No. Okay, just, we were not here to exonerate him. The beginning of your section is to just explain kind of the, the basic brushstrokes of what's happening. Then you're moving into um, the emotional baggage that it's like put forward on him. Following that, you're going to um, talk more about like community reception, some things that people have said about him that you don't agree with. And then your overall point in this section is to prove that he's not a pedophile. Uh, for this segment? Well, I'm assuming, oh. like... I, Hold I, on, I, we, we have barely watched the video, so I can't even remember what the fuck we're looking at. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, you're trying to prove he's not a pedophile, right? Yes. Okay. So, the segment after the Team Zero stuff is to establish that there's not any kind of behavioral thing, like, manipu... Like, it's just an anecdote to show, well, that's not the case with the, the children he was close with and liked in the community at all. It was purely business, um... So I, I'm not seeing anything that Leffen could quote that's recent at all that would suggest he's actually a current threat to children in the community and manipulating them. Isn't that in some sense an exoneration, though? No. It doesn't no. mean it's... Uh, exonerating would be like, oh, he's, he's innocent of it. I'm just saying it's more likely not than is. Okay. So I feel like you're walking up to the door of an exoneration, but you don't actually have the proof to do it. So you're kind of masquerading it as like a coming from like coming home story. Yeah, this is actually um, no way home. This is a well, trailer for that. Forty. Minutes. I mean, I I don't know if it's writing bias, but you probably do. You think that like in general that um, do you think that his reputation should be exonerated? I think if people want to still dislike him, that's entirely fair. If they want to support No, no, content, but his his reputation, do you think that he should be like... That it should be just wiped There are always clean? detractors online, right? There's always people that are going to have like outrageous takes. Uh, even in situations that are open and, and shut, there's always people who are going to have their own opinion afterwards. Even Sky still gets shit nowadays, which is ridiculous. Yeah, Sky still gets shit about it. Yeah, too. they yeah. still call him like a, a predator and stuff. Yeah. Is your goal not to shift big public perception? And to kind of exonerate him in some capacity. Well, think of it like this. When everyone thinks he fucks kids, uh, I have to kind of be the one to say, well, I don't think he does. All right, man. Right? All right. I think that's fair. Because this is the only media that's like big enough actually showing a proper defense of the case. Okay. Let's watch some more. Years. He must be the Dexter of pedophiles or the most patient barber I've ever seen, because this isn't cutting it. Do I condone the conversations that took place? No, and I hope I've made that very clear. What I'm trying to say is that I don't believe this to be the result of a specific or malicious preference, as is the case with repeat offenders such as pedophiles and discord mods. What I think we're looking at is a culmination of a fucked up childhood and trauma, resulting in emotional immaturity and a lack of genuine and fulfilling relationships. When Zero first publicly shared a story of how he grew up in Chile, we discovered how his father exposed him to sex at the age of five and brutally beat him and his mother. After the age of 11 to 12, he hardly received a proper education, and when he finally went to middle school, he was molested by an older boy, and began to think and act as if he were gay to cope with the trauma. Just one look at Chile's extraordinarily progressive age of consent laws should give you an idea of how that worked out for him. I'm not just saying this so you'll pity him. I'm so just saying his circumstances- Do you get why I brought up the age of consent, Nick? I think that whole section's kind of weird. What's weird about it? I, it's just all over the place. It's like, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why any of that really matters. You seem to not know why anything matters. I, 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 don't, I haven't seen you I'm give me credence on like one point. Like, I'm just being honest. I did. Nick, I think the Nick, first 10 minutes of the video is saying, a banger. Yeah, well, yeah, that's all like objectively true. This is the other shit. Nick is yeah, saying but, that he doesn't so is this care not about objectively Zero's true? upbringing because it doesn't matter if Zero's done stuff to like, if Zero like, like talks to kids inappropriately, his background doesn't matter. Like he doesn't care like morally. Like you're- And you're, I think in most cases, yeah. I'm, again, like people could be as mad as they want. If we're talking about a different YouTuber, I'm pretty sure most of the chat would agree. 
that like uh, if we're talking about a situation where somebody else does something similar <laughs> and they go well listen i i from, i had a, i was in a bad headspace i was molested as a child i had a terrible didn't upbringing kiwis, i came from a weird country I mean, not saying they're the same thing let me clarify give the ten thousand clarification but didn't kiwis yeah. when he apologized he said i was, I was going a through headspace. a lot I was, yeah. it was a rough time for me so ultimately that's, that doesn't matter it, oh, what matters is what did you do no, and taking like, responsibility during the time, for your actions during the time that this happened that isn't that isn't the case at all he wasn't in a bad headspace when he had those conversations it's never been a part of the argument right because mm -hmm. all of this stuff came out seven years later so right. the thing someone's like hey, the thing oh, yeah, is sorry, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. my bad there, there's other screenshots um where at the end of it you can see him say shit like um find find a boy your age um well that's that's like something he remembers, but one of it's like, I hope you find a boy um, in your school or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So that's like him. Uh, that's, that uh, throws me. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not, if ask, I was I'm like, not asking you to like him. I'm saying it's comfortable. But if, I, all right, if I knowingly sexed somebody and like ended the conversation when I hope you find a boy your age. Holy shit, dude. Fuck. I'm sorry. This is so hard for me, dude. I don't know. Maybe like everybody else is just cool with this and this is like totally normal for everybody. I don't know why people You're using it but fuck dude that's so weird it's, be it's because and it's, like, and it's because arguing, you don't consider like, the moral dude, argument and, and yeah fuck the moral argument dude fuck pedos and yeah. i don't think he's See, a pedo if, but it sounds like oh pedo shit God. when you say it like you that. don't think and you describe you don't it think... as get a smorgasbord of children and brought in a fucking bunch of kids for his community i'm not thinking like oh thank god he didn't molest them i'm thinking that's kind of weird that he had a bunch of kids around him all i'm saying is that his worst perceived crime is asking for the the ice cube shit i'm saying that doesn't even exist bad, dude well, wait, it yeah, doesn't yeah. exist. I you can't confirm that's nor deny well. it. Wait, hold on. You said now it doesn't exist, and you said I'm not saying it's not. It didn't happen. I'm saying the pictures that's don't. That's kind exist. of slippery. Yeah, but you're okay, also you're, just, you're, you're, literally, you're literally, literally trying. You're literally trying to catch me on fucking anything right now because you're a fucking you're a demon. All right. What I'm saying well, okay. is that the right, pictures baby. do not exist. Okay. Right. And he cut that off. It didn't. This isn't something that. Oh, a year later, this came out. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Pretty cut and dry, right? Seven years later, there's no new case. He cuts it off himself. Seven years later, there's no new case. What I'm pulling from that is that he either realized it was wrong himself seven years ago, or emotionally, he caught up, like internally, and realized this is wrong while he's with Vanessa for five years, and then just is a normal fucking person after the fact. See, like somebody in my chat just wrote, like, Zero's been clean for seven years. Like, clean of what? So like you say like uh, he's going to uh, he didn't have a slip up like a slip up from what like what do you consider him to be 7 years ago There's a lot of married messaging like, a minor what do you mean But do you like inappropriately if he messaging a minor So if he's slipping up from that are you saying there's like an innate need for him to do that yeah, How do you accidentally so Either you're a pedo okay. or you're temporarily emotionally stunted what? and then you okay. grow out of it. How does this how does this happen bro. though? Like That's like where you where you get caught up messaging like a 15 year old? Like how does it how but do you doesn't get everybody do that? I mean obviously wait, never... wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who is this who is this guy in call? Edwin. What's That's up, bro? Edwin. So if you're wait, so oh. if you're saying he's having a slip up and you So do you think that he's seven a, years ago? So do you think that he's a like he was a blank? Do you do you think that he's a pedophile? What? What? He's asking, do you think he was a pedophile seven years ago and grew out of it? That's what Nick's asking. No, I, I, I think he was... No. That's what you're asking. Okay, I just no, asked you I, a second ago, and you said, what would he be slipping up from? And you would say, slipping up from pedophilia. So now I ask you, seven <laughs> years ago, do you think that he's a pedophile? Slipping up from messaging a minor. That's the, that's the case that would be bad. It's objectively bad to message a minor, right? I'm not saying he's a pedophile. I'm not saying slipping up being a pedophile. It would be he's slipping up pedophile. showing something that is pedophilic. But... What I'm trying to say is that in middle school, right, he missed, he didn't even go to middle school a lot of the time. He was fucking bullied so much, he actually got into so many fights that he couldn't go to school until he was 16, and he tried to kill himself when he was 10 by jumping out a window. Wait, you, you, and, again, you're doing it again. I'm asking a question on, like, what he would be, and you're giving me a sob story about how he tried to kill himself by jumping out of a fucking window. Oh, my fucking God. <sighs> Dude, you're not, li you're not listening to what I'm saying. You're just calling it a soft story. I'm giving you the are, reason are why you he's not a Are you saying that you can do a pedophilic action but not be a pedophile? Yes. Okay. Okay. Dude. okay. I'm gonna and I would say that's oh, possible. Boy. Unless... Oh, oh, right. wait, you got Nick to exercise. Yeah. Yes, yeah, technicals, go, go we exercise. did it. Right. We did it. We got him to I'm exercise. Go <laughs> just, because he mess just because he messaged <sighs> a minor... Seven years ago doesn't mean he has a consistent right. 
and it like like major infatuation with children. That's that's. Nick, I feel like this you is can what you want to have to say, Nick. It's okay. So your your debate is that fucking uh, zero is not a pedophile right now. <sighs> that you're so fucking sneaky. If I didn't do the same shit as you, I would be answering your questions, and I'd fucking slip right into that. You sneaky motherfucker. No, All right, I'm just gonna stop I'm answering questions. That. I'm using my yeah, because your your questions again. are sneaky as fuck. Oh, so you're saying he's not a pedophile now? Oh, so he was a pedophile before. Like like I don't know what the fuck you're going for. Shut the fuck up. Well, Nick's I'm asking sorry, a lot of Nick's asking stupid. a lot of questions because to me, am I being how slippery yeah, am I being, Augie? I don't you think can be you're fair being. I don't think you're being slippery. I think this is a largely indefensible case. And I, I want to be clear, I don't think Technicals is isn't a thing yet. In the video, Technicals <laughs> says it's not bad, but I'm just saying. Alabama Edwin, dude. Not as slippery as an ice cube. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> dude, we all, uh, we all, I, agree, I, that I, it's, we all agree that it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. And it's I'm very just feeling hard to look at this. Different, dude, we have very different worldviews on this issue. It's obvious. That, that's what I'm getting out of this. And you guys and have like, such yeah. different worldviews. And we're not going to get past that. But I've been trying to get think out each other of acting in bad faith. minutes. And now I think I understand what's going on. Right. right yeah, right, because right. I'm not giving you the fucking soundbite that you want. I'm I don't just, want a soundbite. I'm, I'm not reposting this debate. I'm, I, it's, I just want to know no. where you stand on this. And it makes it more sense when I'm watching the video. This is, this is to me, and, and technicals, I'm going to be honest with you, this, this, this whole thing is incredibly difficult. This is indefensible to me. I just look at it like that. I put up a tweet for a reason. I, when we talked about this on After Hours in April or whatever, and I kind of asked you, like, what's up? The, what's the deal with Zero? What did he do or whatever? And you tell me what's all going on, and then you go into the whole thing about how he killed himself. I, I just, or how he almost did. I'm not, obviously. Yeah, he's, he's dead right now. Yeah. <laughs> I said the same thing before. I don't feel bad. Look, it. post post mortem. So that's why it's not called. It's indefensible to me. It's a situation where I can I can never say whether or not he's a pedophile because to me I would have to I would have to like like go inside of his brain and like fucking dissect it or whatever. To me, it's indefensible. I don't even think I can make that judgment call based off of just technicals. No, video. I, I, no, it would be much more that. research that I would have to put in before I would make a, like a discerning. Like, how many kids would you interview? Yeah. How many kids? I just want to know them. what would satisfy all your of them. your requirements. All of, all of them. All of them. <laughs> Everyone. Now, if you want, if you if you think that like you think Pietos are bad, well, I'll name every kid. Yeah. Look, what's wrong with that? I, I, if it was, I, I do. I if do it was the my stuff. decision, let me okay. end it off like this, just so I'm clear yeah, with my yeah. position. Then Bo Blacks is next. Right, right. If yeah. this was my if this was my decision, I would not go to back for this guy. Maybe in, in in like obviously like he did get fucked over and like a lot of the I mean we went through six out of the seven allegations six of them were bullshit the the biggest one is the problem though uh, I would not go to back nearly as hard as you did for this guy personally speaking that's what I'm gonna say yeah it feels like you're kind of downplaying if, if he, it a little bit if he sent if he sent his cock to that minor me neither okay but okay. like if she sent if if he asks for that girl to send herself to him. She never sent it. As, she never masturbated. It doesn't matter if she fucking sent it. That's still insane. I think it kind of does because that's child porn. That's that legal. legal. I'm case. talking moral. Yeah. That's legal, dude. That's Wait, le that's legal. That's a legal I, I, argument. I think, I'm it's, I think it's infinitely worse if he got. If she enemy. actually sent it, no, the fucking intent is still there to get it. If you're yeah, asking, we don't, that's we not don't know. Her. That's the question. You're we don't it's know just one hundred. Do we know? Uh, yes, if I think he it's asked? just as bad if you ask for something Wait. and it's not sent as if when you ask for something and it is sent. Because Do at no point are you it? even involved in that decision making process. It's you're just intent. asking for something. It's literally the intent. Yeah. Do we know if he asked for it? I I'm basing mine off of his fucking video, uh, his um statement. So I mean, if you're I'm wrong, does zero, gonna, does, zero does, does zero himself say because yeah, we, but he's what that uh, like back after that's the, the fact. Oh, he walked it back. What do you so he say it, back. then he walked it back. Yeah, that's what I'm arguing. It's just like what was his walk back? That like he was that in direct when he gave the, the statement. And he was going to kill himself. Okay, but that makes no sense. Wait, or, like absolutely no sense, not at all. I don't buy it for a second. Yeah, but, like, I agree. It doesn't make I, sense I, at okay. all. That's fair. Under duress. I'm sorry. But, okay. Also, I while he may not be a pedophile, people get called pedophile on YouTube for a lot less things. Like this yeah. Is not intense. Just yeah, like, I think there's a problem on YouTube, but again, wait, like this is intense. Be... This is more intense than other people actually sexting minors and getting pictures. Wait, I'm sorry. If you no. get denied by a minor, is that not like this, is that? That's just less bad. Is, this kind of sounds like sexting a minor. It literally is. <sighs> it, if you, wait, what was the? You, you make, there's no, wait, why, there's is no there a pictures. meaningful distinction of whether the minor fucking leaves you unread? There is no pictures. Okay, that that's would be great, fucking but he incredibly illegal. He allegedly asked there, for the and then so he told everybody layers. he did. So if, 
So if he's oh, not a God. pedophile and he never got pictures from a minor, what's his worst crime? Being fucking weird with a 14 year old. No, his worst crime is asking for fucking nudes. His worst crime is committing a pedophilic action. Can we agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and, and so I guess the ultimate question is. When he, let's assume he asked for the news just so we can stay consistent because the story will go all over the place if we speculate if he did or didn't. But let's say he did, right? That's uh, how I've been uh, operating for the last, like, Yeah, so, yeah. So the question is, seven years ago, would uh, doing that, given all the context that Technical's giving with, like, how he's acting with children now versus his past that could have led him to be doing that stuff without being pedophilic, once he does that, is he guaranteed pedophilic, or is it just a, uh, you know, situation of circumstances? And I think that answer is up in the air, and there's no definitive answer, so it's up to personal interpretation, I guess. Am I correct, or? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. It's just a worldview issue. I, I yeah, just, it's I, like, a, it's like, because it, it de delves so deep into psychology, like, dude, what I, actually makes someone like, a pedophile, what actually makes it consistent. It's such, all like, I know. a psychology question, and psychology has so many unanswered questions. Yes. Like, well, psychology I, I have to mute a, Twitch for one second, like, because I can't say it on Twitch. I'm sorry, chat. It's just like, yeah, I don't know. I come from the philosophy that, like, people who hurt children in any capacity should be lined up against a wall. That's where my. That's literally where my fucking stance comes from. That's my worldview. Wait, you think anyone that does something like zero should be lined up against a wall? Uh, if zero is actually like obtain, if if zero actually obtained images or attempt to ask for images, I'm not. I don't want to comment on zero specifically because I don't know that story fully. I know your perception of that story, so I'm not going to comment on zero's situation. But I think people. Well, like you think someone who did something similar should be lined up against a wall? I think people who are pedophiles should be lined up against a wall. I can't make that distinction on zero based off of just what you've shown me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's obviously a very contentious topic. Not everyone thinks like Nick and not everyone thinks like... That's my like worldview. All, all if you don't agree on my worldview, that's fine. We're never going to agree on that. But my stance is that I think people who harm kids should be lined up against a wall. But technically, he didn't get to harm the girl. She didn't take the pictures, right? Yeah. Well, he's, I mean, he's just saying it could be an emotional in general. Yeah, it could be emotional but. distress. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I I think so we should call. I think we should call time out. I think this conversation has been beaten. Unless there's any more of the video, you guys, either of y'all want to review. I think we've ran this conversation as much <coughs> as is possible. Yeah, this this is pretty much the end of the zero stuff. Anyways, after this, mm -hmm. it right. transitions. I will okay. say. Right, then we'll get into my next problem. Even, with, I'm even kidding, though, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. even no, though kidding. Nick wasn't, <laughs> even though Nick wasn't agreeing with everything you were saying, some of your explanations did enlighten me to what you actually meant in the video more. So I'm glad you were able to, uh, you know, yeah, share I, your I, thoughts on the video to me and the audience. And, <laughs> I know, you know we're getting heated. I don't hate you, Nick. I'm just being an asshole like you. All right. I get that you have your worldview. I get that you have a different outlook of how I place shit. That's totally fine. I I can. I can give you some of those points too. That's totally fine. But at the end of the day, my conclusion was that I don't think, I think it's fine if he uploads because I don't think he's a danger to children. And look, I, I don't know if he's a danger to children. And my issue with your video is exactly what I said the second you got on here. This is a fantastic hill to die on. The fact that we're debating like, pedophilia like how what quantifies is like what actually is pedophilia to have this conversation is somewhere that i would never go and it's just like I, it seems You've like i'm here for like an hour and a half yeah it's somewhere <laughs> i wouldn't dedicate a large amount of time to like jumping in the weeds like this in my own channel it's just it's insane well, that's that's where i if come we have from, to man. yeah if we have to talk about like whether someone was like abused as a child and whether that like impacts the situation at hand, that's probably too sus of a situation. I wouldn't want to be, uh, I wouldn't want my name attached to that. And that's all I'm saying that's fair. is I know that you do a lot of good work in that community. And I know you've done a lot of good work to defend people who haven't gotten a defense from other people. We work together on the sky Williams situation. His name's brought up in this video too. And I think that if you're going to like take a interesting stance on some of the issues here, I, I, I'm worried that it's going to impact some of your other work. I, I'm, I'm, I, it's, I'm well, worried that like this is going to produce a negative connotation because you're going in such trolling. a weird angle. No, it's what not concern it? I'm trolling. trolling. I'm it's literally real. on his what channel. Is this no, is legitimate fucking, fair. yeah. This, I, I'm okay, worried that like right. if this video didn't go well and you're making arguments about like pedophilia here that well, I mean that don't fine. that don't align with my worldview as I've been as I've appeared on your channel. I'm worried about what that does with Sky Williams. I'm worried about what that does with other things.
Well, but. I would argue I don't think it loops up it loops back as significantly because Sky isn't really like that involved in this video in the first place. Um it's just the other video is linked back because I cover the zero stuff obviously in the first segment of that video. Yes. Um more in depth than the recap in this video. And I knew when I hit upload that it was it was a risky topic and not everyone's going to agree with like okay. the psychology of it and all okay. that shit. But I'm taking the L there. So if Okay. If then some that's people the issue. Who, you just answered my whole problem. Thank you. What's the issue? That's it. I don't agree with you on that the psychology of it. Yeah, I don't yeah, agree with you on the psychology. Yeah, okay, we're good. Yeah. All right, we hey, found the issue. We're good. Do we want to go yeah, we, nuclear? We, we, Somebody, I'd seen this earlier on Twitter, and I, I, th this is me asking you this tech, but uh, people were showing me this like screenshot here or something of like you DMing zero or something. I'll go ahead and read it out and let you like respond to it if you want. But this I was just after the sky. I'm video, guessing right? this was like leaked DMs mm -hmm. that you accidentally showed on showed stream. Showed on stream. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll read it out and then I'll talk about it. So zero, you, you talked to zero. He says, because you clearly know what to do. Technical says, trust the plan, lol. This is my field. Zero says, also, this may be huge, but the next challenge is Katie. And the biggest problem is still, who is Katie she? Katie is the 14 year old really? girl, right? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who is she? And is she really who she says she is? I was thinking a, if Jackie gets canceled or is close to, which is very possible now, we may be able to pressure her hand to get Katie details. I have a great feeling there's manipulation in that story and Katie herself. And since Katie is a ghost in the wind, Technical says that would be groundbreaking. Zero then says we may be able to uncover her. Yes, dot, dot, dot. So I'm saying this could be a play. Jackie is a snake. She will throw Katie under the bus for self-preservation if she has to. So we could use that question mark. Technical says, yeah, she needs to stay gutted in the process, though. I just want to lead to Katie. Is the goal here? Actually, I'll let you. I'll let you respond. Then I'll pursue. Yeah. So obviously, I'm talking about it because it's it's a narrative. All, uh, every video that talks about shit like this is a narrative. Obviously, uh, this just accidentally fucking leaked on stream. But this is just me talking to zero because Katie does not exist on the internet. When she posted, it was anonymous. Um, when she got in contact with Jisoo, she actually exchanged phone numbers. So Jisoo has her phone number, and every person I reached out to during that time frame either refused to talk to me or blocked me. So I could not get a statement from Katie. I couldn't confirm her identity or talk to her at all. So this was just another angle where it's like, well, if we do this, maybe Jisoo will slip up and give us what we need so we can actually you know, confirm the anonymous uh, poster. Was the objective there to like remove the anonymity to the victim of... No, it was not to dox. It was to simply get a statement from her, so it could be a more objective piece. But everyone was ducking okay. me, and yeah, I, I believe you because I know you're not like a piece of shit. Like you're not. If you got her information, you wouldn't name her in the video with her legitimate name, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, if okay, so if I was gonna go, if if you take that screenshot and twist it as bad as you want to about me, why the fuck would I then go in and say that this is the most legitimate problem that people have with zero, and that I think it's wrong, like? Because I think if you I, have to make that concession to start, or you lose everybody immediately. But again, exactly. I, I don't think that I don't think of you in the worst light possible, and I don't think your intention is to dox that person. But that's been a critique that you've gotten a lot. Yeah, the fucking journalist Jacob Wolf said I was going to dox her. This is literally just me. And Jacob Wolf's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, she deleted every social media she has: Facebook, Twitter, all of that. So this is just me, like, kind of desperately trying to get in contact with her because I have no leads. So. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing, obviously, you want to try to get a lead, but I wasn't able to. If oh, hell yeah. So, Augie's mm -hmm. playing 06. Let's go. You got to put on Mario. <laughs> Mario 64. Yeah, I should have oh, played. Yeah. <laughs> played it yeah. the entire time. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't. I, I just want to be clear, right? I just, you know, I, I was, I had problems with the video in the sense where I cannot walk away from this and endorse or condone or. Yeah, I can't uh, endorse. I wouldn't zero. ask. I wouldn't that's ask it. any of you to. I wouldn't ask you to. Okay, then that's fair. But yeah, I just, uh, I mean, you, you, heard, you heard all of our arguments. So that's, that's just it. Like not, you can think, you can think what you want about him. Just the only thing is that he's going to be posting, fucking staying in his own lane. That's that's literally the end goal. He's just gonna post videos. He's gonna be in his own lane. I don't think he's. I think he's be pretty. Able to post videos. I think he can post videos. What do you think, Nick? Should he be allowed to post videos? I think anyone should be allowed to post videos. I yeah. think if it turns out that he's more so, uh, it, it less less innocent than I perceived him to be at the moment, then I think it would be. Um, 
And he's if not that's true. I'll walk. He's not back. Lion Maker. I was very happy to get Lion Maker banned every time he came back. Uh, he's not Lion right. Maker. What did what did Lion Maker do? Lion Maker raped the child. Uh, oh Jesus! Yeah. And he posted the child's nudes publicly on Twitter. Okay. Did yeah. You do that? And that's he was convicted. Good, it's a yeah. good ban. And yeah, he was convicted. And because he lives in a shitty country, he only served a few months in prison. What country? Uh, I forget. I shouldn't say. One of these know. European ones. Yeah, yeah, one of these random fucking countries, dude. <laughs> one of these fucking. Yeah, Lion these Maker is world undoubtedly. Countries. Like, yeah, shit. Lion Maker is undoubtedly yeah. a pedophile. He should not have the right to post. I don't have Belgium. That. In just in comparison, I don't have that same stance. Was that Tom or Edwin? Yeah. I couldn't tell. It's Edwin. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm still mad at Zero for What's beating Reggie thing? and Smash Bros publicly in front of everyone. <laughs> okay. during and that's E3. fine. That's, I'm not trying. I'm fucking to- <laughs> pissed off. Yeah. Um, I, and you'll never, no technicals video is going to make me like forgive Zero for that shit. Nice. That's fair. That's fair. That's legit. That's legit. This is why Reggie doesn't work at Nintendo anymore. He was like humiliated. Aww, and what the fuck? Zero Don't, took Reggie from us? <laughs> yeah. Don't you see the correlation? Yeah. Like, Reggie, he beat Reggie and Smash in front of everybody, like millions of people, and then he left the company. All right. We had enough fun times. Now, can we, let's continue. What? He's playing uh-huh. Sonic. <laughs> Next, like, all right, so, second we argument. Let's for round two. <laughs> yeah, yeah I thought going. this was our intermission. D- oh yeah, he said take intermission. A break. I, mean, I mean, the only other thing after this is the Nairo and then the code of conduct. Which have you, you removed that? Like you've removed about. a section from the Nairo, or at least like a, like I, a thing. Wait, right? I'm actually. What I actually can't tell. It, yeah, I actually can't tell. Nick, are you trolling? Do you actually want to watch more of the video? Or are you saying? I mean, I have no problem with continuing it. Okay, if you guys want to, I, 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 I actually want to ask about Nairo because I know nothing about Nairo, and this whole yeah, section was I, confusing I, for everybody here, so we have no idea what's going on in that section. That's oh, fine. Come on, I was just enjoying the Sonic gameplay. Buddy. I could answer the beginning uh, part, like the first few, because those were related to stuff that was happening with like the Sky video and like around that time. But I know nothing about Nairo. Well, I guess let I me explain uh, what I cut. I cut a snippet from the part where I said he was um, lying in his legal statement. Because someone sent me a, the actual tweet long that I missed, where he was actually correct on that one point. So I just snipped that part out, and so it's processing. So, oh, I actually want to ask you about this. So, uh, tell me if I'm like totally misrepresenting your argument. And we'll stop. But uh, to my knowledge, yeah, you your are. argument what? <laughs> to my knowledge, your <laughs> argument was um, that the Nairo situation, um, while they're while they were pursuing it legally, which we have no actual evidence is being actually pursued legally. Uh, further than it is now um he refuses to release a 30 page document w- and gave very like robotic responses across the community with all the people who actually saw it so if he's really mm-hmm. innocent why not show that document yes it's okay. kind of like a pressure move but you you can answer like, that yourself right what do you mean well why like, would you release that like if you've no, already because... won, why put more information out there for people to even talk about? If the whole community's welcome, I'm sure if he didn't get welcome back, it would have come out. But like, you're arguing like, oh well, I'm gonna need to see that document. I mean, that's very no, no, brave no, 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 like the, uh... no, 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 because he had a legal agreement outside of court, and yeah, that he, he couldn't basically... show it. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't show to everyone except for his closest friends who then went on Twitter to vouch for him. If we believe that that's even the case, right? That That is the case. That's what they said. Well, I know it's that what's, that's what they said, but if I don't know if that's even the case, though. If they so actually let, have let's assume that all of them are, are lying, too. In Nairo's legal statement, he completely flips the script and says he has a 30-page document that he's only shown to his closest friends. He says yeah, that, it in that That's weird. Statement. It's like, I can't talk about this or show you, but I can tell everybody that it exists, and I can have them. I mean, I'm assuming you think yeah. they're lying in that capacity, right? Well, I just think it's weird that um, you would get your friends to to read the evidence just to go and say it exists instead of just showing people that it exists. Yeah, all I'm saying is like, if it works, don't fix it. Like, there's no reason to put it out now if everyone bought it. But I, yeah, I agree, that, you but, should but, ask for it and you should continue to press it. Yeah, it's it's just weird because it comes off as, oh, well, my family and friends said I'm clear, so they investigated the problem and they said everything's good, so... Yeah. yeah, let's move on, guys. No, so I explain agree. to me what it's the like, situation. It's like when there's a rape allegation at your local work or whatever. Let's say there's a rape allegation at like Tipster's job, right? And then like mm-hmm. it's like um, <laughs> 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 there's a rape okay, allegation well. at Tipster's job, right? And then nice like one. it's clear everybody knows it happened or something. And oh then the fucking God. uh, then like they have the the group go. We're doing an internal investigation. Well, we found nothing, guys. No rape happened. 
Yeah, it's the whole. That's meme what it of sounds like, right? The FBI investigating themselves and they found nothing wrong. The police yeah. department investigated police brutality and found no sign. Tipsters and Tell, like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Tipster did not deserve it. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't I, say Tipster raped anybody. Jesus. <laughs> Tipster raped anybody. They did. It wouldn't matter if it was seven years ago. Tipster drones like, 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 What's the big Augie. fucking piece of shit? You quote retweeted that one fake Tipster post. I, I was so scared because I thought Tipster was being open. Yeah, that was a little whack. Dude, dude yeah. Tipster just went mask off last night, dude. He's like, I fucking hate how much women and gay people are in my community now. We're like, whoa, dude. <laughs> dude he hates his gay pants all Oh, my God. We, we fuck with Tipster, honestly, probably more than anyone else. And I kind of feel bad. Anyways, Except congrats on, like, Is he your, okay with all of it? Congrats on, like, was this your biggest video nah, ever? I think it is. Yes. Yeah, it was. Congratulations. I, I was you. shocked when I saw those numbers. It's insane. So what are you it's, worried about? It, it, it's a risk I was willing to take. Uh, I'm willing to have some people disagree, but you know, at the I end of the day, it's a cool video. Dude, I think I yeah. think Nick should have taken the L earlier when he was like, "Why are you playing that part about the fucking left?" And it made sense. I don't think it did. But Nick just couldn't let it go. It would hurt to watch, bro. You oh, Edwin! <laughs> what the fuck, Edwin? Like, you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> No, you were literally. Like, you wanna, no, 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 you're really confident. You want to make not start yo, play, this again. No, no, play uh, technicals. Uh, play, no, no, play uh, technicals. Uh, you got uh, the uh, argument. Play uh, technicals. Uh, oh, 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 I didn't mean to revive. No, I'm Alabama and Edwin. Bro. Talk about uh, it with uh, me. Tell me what you know. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Edwin. What do you got? What? Give it I'm another hundred k views. With the whole laughing part, he asked people like testimonials. I thought that part made sense because. Uh, Leffen's tweet said that he was like a current danger, and he's you know he's showing that he's not. Okay, so, so like, all right, how can all right? You start talking I'm asking about Edward, not technicals. Okay, if you ask or oh, interview fuck. one person oh, or you, more Edward. or fuck more you, one person or more, how does that debunk the fact that he could still be a danger to the current community? It, it's whether not, you believe he is or not. Is how does it? one interview prove or deny that in any capacity? It's. No, I, it's an it's, all, it's it's just that it makes it less likely. Like people, yeah. okay. So when he when you make a statement like that and you provide nothing um, to back, like you're not citing anything when you say it. If I cite something, it's like, well, I have this. You said this, and you had nothing. That's just how. It's it's clear. Clear. Yours is a pretty or nothing. I don't think it debunks or more, really furthers the point. Yeah, it's but, just well, an well, it's, it's, it's a Nick, nothing Nick, point. How Nothing would you yeah, so, that? so I think if you just that? totally ignore that in the video, it's probably better than what you did. Uh, I don't think it really okay, added so anything. Okay. I'm just like, I, yeah, I don't think you'd have to justify. Wait, I would have just okay. said, "Hey, Leffen, this is completely fucking outrageous. You have nothing hey, to back that up with." Here, right you could have literally just said that earlier, or when instead of fucking blabbering, not saying anything at all, and people wouldn't have shat on you in the chat. I mean, but I don't you, care if the chat shits on me; they're wrong ninety well, percent of the time. You were like, you you look bad, bro. I hurt, but. Otherwise, Excuse you know. me. That's the Nick, same argument I made ten minutes ago. It, identical to what I said. According to speak. according did to you, the polls, Nick. According to the polls, they wouldn't be ninety percent wrong. They'd be eighty-two percent wrong because eighty-two percent of people voted for technicals. Oh yeah, that God. makes no sense. It's literally no, it everyone agrees. Everyone Wait, that means they voted against me too. Fuck you guys in chat. <laughs> no, I only put You're two the mediator. options. I only put Nick and Texas. Well, I'm not, okay. I tried to mediate this, but I mean, it's very clear. Like, I, I mean, I agree with most of what Nick's saying here, and that's what that's what I was trying to express. Like, I'm also I'm trying to play like. Yeah, your mediator. chat just absolutely fucking despises me. I know for a fact that apparently Bolex, me too. Augie and me are entirely on the same fucking like spectrum here. I'm just the guy who had to no, say. No, I'm pretty sure Bo Blax is on a different spectrum. Let's not. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. 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 some spectrum. Okay. I don't know, dude. I'm getting Let's a little go. bit of that tonight. Oh. That's why I'm enjoying the Sonic gameplay more than this debate. I mean, it, I, I, it's fine. My autism's flared. And I, I told you guys, it's fine if you disagree. Like, I, I just don't think he's a danger. I think mm -hmm. he's, it's fine if he uploads. I don't think he's, like, like I, I can't prove that he's a danger in any capacity. Yeah, neither can the people against him. But if you're, okay, so, again, if you're a Leffen or a Jisoo and you look at the situation... And you see so the situation. Swedish or Asian? All right. Yes. I'm locked in. If you're Augie or uh, Swedish. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. If you're Augie or PewDiePie, uh, I right. didn't know about I'm, this segment. I'm just saying, if you're if you're a regular bystander and you're looking at the situation and all you know is that seven years Wait, ago fuck? this fucking really sketchy shit <clears throat> happened, right? Mm -hmm. Is it rational to come to the conclusion that this guy is like fucking like insane and like probably like dangerous? I think both are rational because it it's comes from a, a place of subjectivity. 
So I can't I can't reasonably say, oh, you believing that? Nah, fuck you, dude. But at the I, same time, because because you can't like 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 we said, we can't prove that he's a current danger. So like it's subjective. If you think that he's a current danger, then it would be entirely reasonable. Yeah, I guess your whole fucking video is trying to prove a negative, and it's really hard to argue around it because like you can't prove a negative. Well, it's impossible well, to prove somebody's not something. You can give ample evidence to why they probably aren't. Like he hasn't done anything like this in seven years. That's like a huge. Yeah, but um, I mean, the part that me and technicals heavily disagree on is that pattern of behavior plays an important role. I think someone who can offend and be something one time. And, and that would still carry with them. Technicals yeah, yeah. is arguing entirely off of like um, pattern of behavior, environmental well, hazards, and stuff like that. You, and that's a worldview issue. If you so steal a Snickers, are you a robber? Like, what the fuck? No, but like, like there. All right, so but there's a difference between really stealing stupid, a Snickers well, and like fucking a kid. You know, like yeah, there's <laughs> a different. There's a difference between stealing a Snickers and robbing a bank too. Like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's true, levels true. all this. Shit. Yeah, but. Texting a kid, yeah. being involved with a kid, asking a kid for nudes, like these all involve a kid. Yeah, right? but the question the question is if in his mind he's thinking that this person is innocent and young and he's attracted them for that reason. But does it really, really matter what reason he's attracted to them for? If he's attracted wow. to them? It matters if he's if it matters if that's the specific attraction, yes. I just but disagree. If, but because that's, at the but same time frame world do. because during the during during the exact same time frame, he was messaging another girl that was the same age as him. In 2014. She was also innocent. So are you well, saying, she, this is this like a pyrocynical, don't care how old they are kind of talking to thing? Well, I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> Pyro's a different I story. I don't know if Tom's still a chat, but uh, <laughs> so, something like that. Like uh, just messaging a bunch of girls during that time period until he got... So you think he was just really uh, horny and talked to literally everybody around him? Well, he didn't and have one of, of them ex- happened to be really young. like the validation, I think, right? Yeah, that's what I was asking the earlier, what? though. Like, how do you get yeah, into we a situation? Get how do you get into a situation where you accidentally text a kid? It's well, not accidental, dude, if you know. Dude, if you win an invitational, like he won, I think it was 2000. Okay, it had to be 2014. He won the Smash 4 invitational. Oh, was that long Wait, was ago? That? Jesus, I'm fucking old. No, 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 oh. no. It was some, he won some invitational or something, and, um, it like, It might have been he, Smash Ultimate, well, I don't know. No, it was Smash Yeah, 4. and they, they reached, it blurs the, together for Smash me. 4? Are you talking about that yeah, Nintendo I, I one, like, play. that he got invited to that blew up his whole career? Yeah, the E3 one? Yeah, I, that, this, I think this is the period that that happened, that was and, 2014. um, yeah. that's, that's when he was getting messages, and people were, like, adding him, and he didn't filter who he was interacting with. But my point is, when he's talking uh, to this girl and she's saying, ooh, I'm 14, uh, you're making me blush. And then he continues, like, how do you accidentally get yourself into that situation? To me, it's reasonable to, like, talk to somebody and then they say, oh, by the way, I'm 14. And then for you to go, like, whoa. Yeah, okay, and if I'm you're somebody this. and if you're somebody who's just talking to somebody because you're horny and, they like, you're not thinking about how old they are, when they go, I'm 14, ooh, I'm blushing. Does that not, like, make you, st- like, if you're not so a pedo hard, or something, <laughs> like... Your stomach is fucking turning, dude. You're like, yeah, Holy exactly. Fuck. I guess this is this is where we disagree on the psychological part with like the trauma and and all of that stuff. But and the age yeah. of people keep saying age of consent in Chile, fourteen. There, there's like, like if you go back in human history and the fucking um like uh dude, people if anybody die younger, tweets right? at me, age of consent in Chile is fourteen. I'm blocking them and calling them. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but but I'm I'm just if saying anyone I'm uses saying that, that to like discuss this whole topic in general. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm blocking you. If you go back, you if you go back in history, where the um where people live less long. All of this stuff happens a lot earlier, right? So, like, over time, it changes. Someone in the chat said, what was the age of the ice cube? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did the ice cube oh stop? The ice cube just became Wait, frozen. was it? Hold on. Was it a ice cube or was it the, the rapping recording artist, Ice Cube? How long has the water um, been in circulation before it was frozen over? Allegation. Was it distilled? Into an ice no, cube. no, no. I'm not going to let chat fucking, like, what pin this finish. boss shit on me. If you go back in time where people die at like 34 and that's like the oldest they get, yeah, of course life starts earlier. That's just, that's not me making a change age of consent fucking argument. That's just a fact. Well, technically, so you're saying 14. zero time traveled from the fucking 1800s and was well, caught off guard and thought 14 technical, was okay. So you think the age I know you're not. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I'm making I'm, a dumb joke. Technically, so you think yeah, the age of consent is a feminist yeah. construct? <laughs> No, I'm just ha- I'm just trying to get what? it in your head, like establishing the subjectivity of it. Right. Yeah, yeah, I understand because what you're saying. Then, I'm just it joking. wasn't bad. 
Yeah, I yeah. Back in 2014, <laughs> there was no YouTube no. videos on age consent. I I, I, I hate so. you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god! Sorry, I thought we were in the less serious portion of the debate. I guess, shit. but yeah, I'm watching Sonic right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm not watching Sonic. I, I feel I feel like the seriousness went down once I saw Sonic get, or Shadow the Hedgehog fucking zipping across these buildings, dude. That's I just don't want to get snipped. Cause when you guys like react so negative to, it makes me sound fucking insane, and I'm like, I'm, that's uh, true. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm. I agree well, with you. Clearly, you've gotten universally joking. positive praise, and I'm sure that will continue after this conversation. I promise. Yeah, but you, you guys are my friends. You're supposed to fucking back me up. I don't know. All I know. I'm just